I throw my tweet back up here while I'm doing it too. All right, we are back once again. Yo. Hemi Live virtual virtual yeah. band practice is in session again. Uh, no, we're not a trio. We're not a trio. Tim just power Tim trio. Busy. Power trio for today. Tim's just working. He's busy. He's Rush what did Tim say earlier? He's, he's busy. Like, he's a boss. <laughs> he's like he's like between between practicing guitar, doing actual work, and then committing to this. He goes, "I'm busier now than I have been," or something. He's a busy guy. <laughs> he's a busy guy. Yeah. Even though he's at home, he's busy. Uh, but he's we're got back. a lot of responsibility, man. So he does, man. He does. But hey, virtual yeah. band practice. Um, we're back yeah. here. Trent, Sean, and Gup, we're here. Bates guitar drums. Uh, Tim might pop on though. He said he, he might he might show. Might. I got to get your like he might hands off her. Her. <laughs> <laughs> But he uh, yeah, I drew my one liners. Hey, yeah, get sh- Gup. Get, hey, for anybody who doesn't Gup's know, not here for. Gup's got a lot of one liners. Like that, that's what Gup does is one liners. Yeah, this is that's the uh, doing, <laughs> this is the uh, movie quote. Uh, part of the group right here right even though Back, i think tim is oh, okay yeah. with us doing it but like we definitely are like the movie quoters right definitely the movie quoters what that's, are you looking like, at my face a <laughs> lot of back to the future mostly it's back to the future mostly that's what we do is yeah. back to the future. we're good we, at it too i gotta say sean we don't talk we're enough awesome about, at it man we, we don't talk enough about back to the future three no we talk about three, and i need yeah. to really like rewatch that because i feel like Griff was fucking awesome yeah I've um, seen the first the most, and I know probably the second, but the that third, fucking I'm train not. was dope. Yeah, yeah. I got to get back on that. That's that. You know what? Consider that my. Home I like now. the old one. Right. Okay. Yeah, dude, you're home now. You have no excuse. It's is, back. To is there going to be a, a quiz on this next time we uh, next? Do this? How about this next week? I'm going to ask you <laughs> five questions about Back to the Future oh, Three, a, and okay. you have to get them right. If you get three out of five, you'll pass. That's very generous three. of you. Okay. All right. I could get them all, man. Well, me too. All right. I'm going to ask you too, Gump. <laughs> well, it's gonna be, we're going to do a contest. Gump, right. yeah. It's going to be first, a contest. Oh, yeah. It's going to be yeah. Sean versus Gump, Back to the Future 3. That's perfect. <laughs> That'll be so much fun. I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little intimidated. I think I think Gump might have the upper hand on the on the third one for sure. I think the first one. Yeah, I've watched that totally a lot. Fun. We'll find but out. Part one is my favorite, man. Same. Part one. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. All right, part one, you can't beat it's fantastic, you know. We'll see. We'll part see. two is but, good hey, too. But... Yeah, I love. I saw part two and three in the theater. Actually, how about that? <laughs> two and three, I saw in the theater. Uh, Where's on but, the golf course? <laughs> but uh, all right, so here, where's what we're gonna do? So Tim's out here. We talked about. Uh, we were gonna just discuss how Sean came to be in the band. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting yeah, little story. Oh, Interesting man. story for the uh, for the for the captain there, Sean. I hope I can remember enough enough stuff. Like, what, <laughs> what kind of what kind of format do you want to do here? You you want to like ask me stuff or? So I'm gonna uh, so let, let me. Oh, yeah, let me Sean's up, awesome, man. Let me set up a oh, couple of key go. couple of key Thanks, moments. Babe. I'll set up a couple of key moments, and then we'll <laughs> talk about how it all came in, right? So, sure. uh, so Gup, twenty yeah. So twenty uh, thirteen is when Tim joined. Right, so Tim joined 2013. Yeah. Then we started, and Kramer was still in the band, and we started writing Undivided Intentions. Which now here's a funny thing: Sean appeared on Undivided Intentions. That's yeah. Thing. So we're gonna talk about how. So we're we're gonna we're gonna backtrack a little bit, but hell yeah, Undivided Intentions <laughs> 20, and that came out in 2014, and then Sean's first show with us was 2015. So yes, these, Sean, these are your key. Yeah. These are your key years right here: my, 13, my 14, timeline. and 15. That's your that's your timeline. The yeah. timeline. <laughs> so all right, let's so let's go backwards and talk uh, about abstraction. Even you further abstract- back. Well, we got we got to talk about the roots of it because abstraction. Oh, there was oh, yeah. the, there was a man. whole thing. There's a <laughs> whole like double tie-in. door. Whole There's a whole tie in we have here to abstraction yeah. and how abstraction really. fed into Hemi and then so on. So all right, talk about the beginning of ex- abstraction. Let's just discuss that. Did you get any of that? Gosh, yeah. that was. That was freaking. <laughs> <Yerba. laughs> what's up, man? Um, Yerba, what's up, bro? Sprout! Gosh, that was. I think okay. So Fucking I think was Like right, because that because that's how I kind of met Tim was through was through Spence because because me and Spence it was really Spence's Big idea. Spence-y. Uh, LSF uh, to yeah. start this because we because we were, we were <laughs> in high school and we jammed a lot. We liked a lot of the same bands and 
really kind of like the whole Metallica, Alice in Chains thing. So you and Spencer yeah, went like, to high school together? Like that's yeah, that's, yeah. So I didn't know that. I just found that out. And uh, we, yeah, we actually have, we actually have the same birthday, same age, and everything. So it was like that was like the first like stop in the musical journey, you know? That was yeah. Like the first, I was like everything kind of began with that because I I was really more interested in just like jamming on like covers and stuff, and like yeah. he really he really wanted to form a band and and do this stuff. So I think I think technically it probably started like 2006, 2007. We played nice. Uh, so, so at North Central, because because him and Tim went to North Central. That's how I met Tim, because they they went to college together. Um, we actually played as abstraction. We played like a whole show full of like covers. Um, I think it was 2008, 2007, 2008. So I think technically that's when it started. So we played a show, and it was like me, him. He didn't. He, he wasn't even drumming. Cause he was he was our drummer. He was our he was our front man for that show. <laughs> we had a couple. He had a couple no, no, no. guys he knew. Yeah, he had a couple of guys that he knew, and I, I, <laughs> I'm having trouble remembering who they were Damn. on top of my head. But Damn, bro, what's up? That was like, yeah. There and, and Morgan was our original singer. What's up, Morgan? Yeah. So here's yeah, a from, from the what's up, Morgan? Morgan yeah. of the Metal Experience, who's like, can I just say Morgan and Luke are like legends in like the yeah, local I'm, scene? Without like hundred percent. Morgan and yeah. Luke are awesome. What's up, Luke? Oh, Morgan. No, like like straight awesome up people. Morgan Morgan and Luke are like have become Good people. I like complete legends in the in the Chicago metal scene. Without a doubt. Without and they've doubt. done more for their show is good. They've done more for the like scene. They've done more for the scene than like anybody, yeah. I feel at this no, point. Metal experience is, is so legit. They they I had, love metal experience. I know they've had you guys on a couple of times and they had they had us on uh back in the Pterodactyl King days. Um, Dude, nice. at least once. Well I think I think Who was the UA AJ or? Oh yeah, I think I think we did we did four appearances. You I did believe. four? Oh my yes. god! Yes, we missed you two more. Missed you too. Uh, but Thanks for stopping in. So that's so that's that's an interesting tie-in, right? So Morgan was the original singer of Abstraction. Yeah. This is what a, what a like interesting tie-in this all is. It's so it's funny like, going back. That's cool, like, man. It, yeah, it was back like, to the future. <laughs> that, it, what a beautiful segue there. Joe. <laughs> like no, it's Thanks, it's man. crazy because it's like it, it. Hey, I can't believe it's been that long, but like that was. We, we did that one show and i think like I, I was i was playing ball in college so i like didn't really have time to, to play music and all that and then like 2009 2010 we started uh morgan introduced us to, to pat pingator so that was you know it was he was our bass player and, yep. and he was Thanks. he was bass player with us in ter in pterodactyl team as well and then uh so so the first the first lineup was like like not m minus that one show was Morgan, myself, Spence, and Pat. So we played this, and Morgan probably remembers this. We played this gazebo in uh, Spence, babe. God, where was it? Like Streamwood or something, or like Glendale Heights. Well, if Morgan's uh, still watching, Morgan, tell us what it was. Yeah, was it was I it mean, Streamwood, Glendale Heights? The gazebo. I get a was, sometimes. Oh my gosh! I mean, that was that was like the first show with like that group too. So that was kind of like the beginning where it was like, okay, we were starting to play some like original songs and stuff too. Is there so, footage of this, Sean, anywhere? I don't Is think it... so. Um, but we do. So, b quick little anecdote before the. Did Nick player, film you guys? <laughs> to, to like no, an empty it was, crowd. It yeah, exactly. It was, like, it was like nine in the morning or something like that. Carol Stream. Thank you. Carol Stream. Okay. Carol Thank Stream, you. man. I love right. that place. So, Morgan, you'll, you'll probably get a kick out of this. I was, I was jamming with Pat recently because we hadn't jammed in forever. So, Pat and I were jamming right before the shelter in place happened. And. Um, right at his house and he pulls out this water bottle so we had i don't know i don't remember how these were made or who made these but we had these water bottles on there and it's like we look so young in this thing like pat's got this like really long <laughs> wavy hair i've i got oh, no man. beard like we're just making you know <laughs> we're making like the the silly uh heavy metal baby fish. <laughs> i mean it was so fun we were cracking up i mean it was it I, I totally forgot that we that we did that. I forget what picture it was, but yeah, that you was kind of like. Where'd you guys jam? Where'd you practice it? What for for abstraction? Yeah, I yeah, don't remember you, where. Oh, where you guys oh yeah, you were at our space, right? This is this Morgan's is before you yeah, moved in with us. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's that right. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah, I mean that's kind of that's kind of how we got hooked up. Um, practicing with you guys was through Tim. Cause so wait, where did you, Tim come in now? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
so, so like I said, Tim and Spence went to school together. So they were, so they were buds yeah. and he was, he, he was a player and I think he was looking for a band or I think we were looking to get a second guitar player. Um, yeah. I don't really remember the reasoning why. Yeah. Send a picture. It'd be awesome. Yeah, Morgan, send me that uh, picture. It's so funny. Like, I, it's so funny. I mean, we look so I gotta different. See that. <laughs> we look so different. You'll crack up, Gov. It's so good. I'm going to display it on here. Nice. If, you, if yeah. you can send it to I me. I can't later. see the comments, but. I'll see him later. Yeah. I'll check it out. Yeah. Oh. oh my God. Morgan, it's like a mem- trip down memory lane. I mean, it was like so, such a, a different, like, you know, Rock and roll. a lifetime ago, man. Or metal. So, sorry, what were like you saying? How, how we got hooked up with Tim? Um, so how, yeah, yeah. I mean, how did the Tim, Tim come in and then the whole shift? I, I, I think of, we were, uh, I think we were just like talking singers, about like, like Morgan left, right? Yeah. Hey, it's Matt. Yeah, What's up, Matt? I don't. What's up, oh my gosh. It was so. Such a long time. I don't even. Like, Stay I don't even still. remember. It was just like kind of. It's kind of like blurry. Like this is way, like way this is like, like ten years ago. Yeah, I don't know. I, ten I years can't ago. remember. Yeah. I think. I think. I think it was like. I, I don't even. I don't even remember what. Like what the, the reasoning for like that change and like getting Tim. I think it was just like we wanted to get a second guitar player and be more be right. more yeah, like the rhythm yeah traditional front because I think Spence was doing vocals and i was doing some too so like i don't know i i it was it was 10 years ago so it was like i i don't even remember what <laughs> so more our, our morgan sent a comment probably... in about so morgan yeah. put up where you guys practiced her living room pat's basement then morgan, north you central were, oh, you were kicked that. out morgan, north central, morgan why do we kick you out because we were jerks i'm sorry for that wait 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 that. wait hold on hold on hold on so everybody i need to know what out. happened here why did we wait? Why did this happen? Why did Morgan get kicked out? I don't. I don't really know. I don't really know. You're lucky she still brought us on at Metal Experience. <laughs> I, I couldn't agree more because I, I'm I'm surprised that she's not uh, harboring like a grudge against us all these years. She's she's fantastic. No way, so. man. Morgan um, went on to great right. things after this. <laughs> I th- yeah, I, I think it's safe to say that for sure. Oh yeah, Morgan. Morgan's awesome. Um, so but, we ended up going with more so, like the okay, traditional so, lineup, I guess. Um, so I went to, yes. so that's where Tim came in through Spencer. Yeah, and then Tim and came then through we Spencer. To get a second and player. Spencer. And um, so yeah, they're they're buds in in college, and um, that's how we got hooked up with him. And then I think it was just like we jammed with him to see how you know how it goes. It's like you you jam, you have somebody come come through and jam and see how it goes, and thought it was good. And you know that's kind of. Um, I think that's kind of how it happened. Um, I, I yeah. now that now that I'm talking about it and, and kind of remembering a little bit more, I, we were we were doing that demo EP that we did. I don't know if it was like more of an EP or a demo, but the five song thing that we did that we released. I think it's on. You guys still have it? I think it's on. You still got I, it? I think it's on Reverb Nation. You guys remember that website? Nice. Um, yeah. So we were doing that with. Uh, is it still wait? Is it does it still exist? I think so. That's still out there. I think so. I got. Might have been on a. I might, we might have had it on like MySpace too, back in the MySpace. MySpace, because <laughs> that was, I mean, to be to be fair, like Which that was the shit back then. MySpace somewhere. back 10, 15 years ago was kind of like the like the music Facebook. community, you know. It's like like we're right. obviously it we're was done. No, MySpace was totally. We're more local. That has a good shit. Yeah, we're more local, but um, you know, for guys that were like trying to hook up with other people in kind of like the greater area, that were more you know recording stuff and then like send each other their demos and stuff on soundcloud that was definitely the thing um but yeah anyway it was like the place to yeah closing first yeah so we had yeah that. i remember they had all the songs and stuff playing you remember, yeah you remember that and uh yeah so uh, again a whole nother lifetime ago as you as you probably know and uh 100%, yeah so we were yeah. i think we were in the middle of recording that with uh with our buddy evan back in the summer of 2010 and I think that's when we kind of brought Tim along because we had recorded probably like half of it. So you did the solos on it. I remember that. Um, hey, hey, play a song. He's commenting. Where's the Who's new that? album shit? <laughs> it's Tim. <laughs> Either it's Tim or somebody. Tim? Uh, here's yeah. Tim. Telling anyway, him. here's Wonderwall. Look at this guy. He's not. He's not. He's not joining. He's not joining his own band. Hey, on he's play like, a hey, song. hey, play a song. Where's the new album shit? Well, you're. Aren't you writing it, Tim? Aren't you? Yeah, Tim. It? That's, that's the that's hell? Your job. I can't wait to hear. <laughs> I can't wait to hear. You have one. You, you had one job, man. 
You have one job, but, Wilkins. But yeah, that's that's how that's how I I guess I got hooked up with with Tim. Spread them too. So it's been ten years. It's been a freaking decade, man. Decade of of harmonizing. Yeah. That's, that's our thing. That's a long time. Man. Yeah, man. So, so that's kind of how it's so, time, man. That's how that connection started, and then so that kind of segues into uh, the Hemi thing. Well, let me ask this oh, before yeah. you go to that. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, let me ask this. The demo that's out there, is Morgan on the demo, or was that after she was gone? I don't think so. Or is there any recording material? I think... I don't know about abstraction stuff. We, I, I think a year or two later, and, and Morgan, you can, if you're still on here, you can correct me. We, we did... We did like a single. She she was doing like a like a project or wanted to do like a like a song for a project, and what well, ah I can't remember the name of the song, but it was like myself, Pat, uh, one of their good friends, one one of my buddies, Dan Bless, and then myself. So I actually did drum programming for that. I came up with the drums and then like Pat yeah. played the guitar and Morgan did the vocals on it. It's actually it's, it's a really good song. It's a really good song. Um, so Morgan, if you have that. I'd like to that's see it. Now, Sean, yeah, hang on before you go on. Yeah. I gotta I'd like see to that. see it. Now, Sean, before you go on, I gotta show you something. I gotta show you something. Hold on. Morgan okay. was kind of to share something here. Oh yes. So let me Morgan. Uh, let me share something. How do you get the comments, let man? Let me show you what well, we got. It, it's on your SoundCloud. Okay. Is I it? Think it, cool. it's, uh, oh, it's on SoundCloud. <laughs> no, I see. Oh, look it now. at this. Look at this. <laughs> that's look look at that. that. <laughs> Spence in the middle, and then that's me on the on Spence. the right. And a few pictures. Look at that! Look at that! Recognize me, man. And that's, and that's Morgan there. I see it. And then, and then Patrick without the. That's look cool, Pat. man. Look at Pat right here. Gave, look at this. Gave Pat. by injection. Yeah. And I was <laughs> Silence of the Sinner. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> Silence of the Sinner. I was, love that name. Yeah, it was, it was really fun to work on that. We, hey, we you good. Yeah, and Wait. Luca and Luco had had the. Uh, what's up, Luco? Yeah, Luco did the. Uh, man, what's up, Luco? Yeah. Let me uh, Luke, let me stop know, sharing this. Hold on. Look at that. That's that was great. Now hang on, hang on. Uh, did you guys see clean shaven Sean right there? That was great. That is man. <laughs> a, who, is, who was that? <laughs> who was that guy? I, I haven't seen that guy in a long time. Okay, so this song. Okay, I, I gotta ask now. Hang on. This song, "Escape by Injection." Yeah. Right. The Morgan sites on her SoundCloud. One song. Yeah, it was so. A ton of this is like right that. So so who's playing on this one? Who, instrument wise, who's playing on it? So it was like is... okay, so so Pat, Pat did guitar. So we kind of all like switched okay. instruments, kind of, because um, because Dan, who's nice. I think guitar player by trade, did bass, and I did like the electronic drum pad. So I was doing mm -hmm. and like I didn't like I played the drums when we were practicing, but obviously we did like drum programming for the for the actual recording. But like, uh, look, yeah. we'll do that came up with the lyric, yeah, yeah, when we were recording it, but nice. yeah, she did all okay. the. The vocal melodies and the lyrics and stuff. It was. Let's see. Let me see something. Uh, I'll, I'll defer to Gup. Hey. No nips here, Luca. That's nips. on the Patreon. You have to. You have Gup, to spend. Gup, Gup's in the garage. He's, he's gonna do it anyway. I'm trying to make a few bucks here, Gup. I'm trying to make a few dollars and and charge people for an extra Patreon money if you want to show some nips. But if you're gonna give them away for free, I can't make a buck. And while we're in quarantine, we yeah, gotta make man. a few dollars here. That's how it's gonna go. We're not making any cash. All right, I can't move any <laughs> merchandise. The merchandise all at the studio. And merchandise. I can't any of this merchandise. All right, anyway, hold on. Go, hold on. Oh, by, Joe, by the way, uh, right. Luco, Luco is a, a phenomenally sick frontman. <laughs> um, so, amazing, amazing uh, metal dude. vocals. I, Luco, are you still in Architects of Ruin? If you Luco is a fucking that, legend I, too, man. I still Luco, need it. Oh Luco yeah, Morgan. Luco. Luco and Morgan are just legends in are the fucking in legends, the dude. Metal community. Legends. But, like Can't when this shit, great thing. When this shit's it. over, like when all this, like, like when when the scene eventually shifts, you know, like when people talk, we're like old, and we talk about we it, like they're gonna talk we about these old. two. <laughs> we are old. We are old. Look at this. Look at this. Speak for yourself, right pal. Gray. I got Speak gray, yourself. man. <laughs> you are okay? Yeah, Luca. Luca right, so hang, hang on. Band, so. so I got. So I got. A, so he's in the band. Luca's in Architects of Ruin. Arsenic, That's yeah, awesome. Dude. He's thick band. I mean. Nice. I gotta check it out. Yeah. Um. Rip. So here's the thing. All right. Now I want to clarify. So we got we had the lineup there. It was you, Pat, Morgan did the vocals on that one song. Spencer drumming. Now was Tim yeah. playing guitar on the on the song no. that Morgan did? No, no, no. Okay. That, I was like that ended up being like a separate project. Like after that. Okay. Fact. 
down. Okay, we're gonna so we're gonna so we were still able to like fin- we were, we were still like finally able to like be on a on a song together. So I was like, okay, was I'm really totally, nice. I'm totally gonna post that abstraction photo because there's abstraction is a is a linked band with Hemi. So I gotta post that on some so kind of throwback it, somewhere. Yeah. yeah, she sent it to me. So yeah, cool. she'll throwback it to Thursday. Me. So that's crazy to think. So Luca was on. <laughs> Luca, said, yeah, Luca did, appeared on that too. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so like we kind of so did. Much time on my mind. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So we did that. You guys did that song. Morgan's on it. Luca's on it. You, Pat, Spencer. All right. Yeah. So then that shifts, right? So then, so then Morgan leaves. Tim comes in. Right. Like right after that. So we, yeah. So then we're then that's when we're really starting to like play all our gigs. The next year so that was kind of like cutting your yeah on your teeth or whatever you want to call it like doing doing shows and stuff and like i can, yeah. i can remember being just because i had no experience doing it i just remember being like really nervous every time going on the stage <laughs> like <you've> always <laughs> been that stage fright and i guess i mean i guess i kind of still get it a little bit but it's like just the experience I guess, I guess- factor if you don't get stage fright, you're doing it wrong, right? Like, I, yeah, you got to. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, yeah, I was scared shitless oh when I first went out. Hold on, hold on. You dog. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this comment. Hold on. Look at this. Oh, I literally yelled cunt. Or did I don't know what it was. For years. Yeah, right. For years. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Dan. Dan. Okay, we're going to. I need to hear the song. Yeah, Dan. Song Dan, what, Dan uh, Bless was on that song, too. He's just. Him and him and Luca were in a band together for a, a while uh, called Among the Fall, and he's a super sick guitar player and a great dude too. Silence uh, of the Sinner, oh, that sounds yeah. cool, man. Yeah, it's a, That's a awesome. really good song. Yeah, check it out if you haven't. If you haven't, uh, hey Morgan, if you want to post a, a link to it right here, that yeah. that, that way we'll save it. We yeah, can check it out. Absolutely. Um, nice. So that's cool. All right, so around this time, right? So you guys started playing out. I met. We're starting to play gigs. Yeah, I met. I met Tim yeah. at work. Because we worked together, and I yeah, met him through uh, yeah work, and then me and Gup were already rolling with uh, it was me Gup, Mister Mad, and Kramer. Mister Mad, Kramer. Was, okay, we were, and we were okay. gigging like Mister hey, Mad quit. You got, no, that's well, quit, that's later. We don't, were, don't spoil it. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't <laughs> sorry. spoil. Don't spoil. <laughs> but, uh, sorry, baby. but he. No, you're good. You're good. So we were playing. We were playing a ton of shows around this time, right? Yeah. And then we got <clears> right. offered a headline spot at the Double Door. And they're like, you guys got to book all the bands that you oh yeah have with you, right? Yeah. yeah. Who do I, we have on that? So I met. Well, hang on. So I met Tim at work, and he told me you guys were in this band, and I was like, hey, man, you guys want ah. the show? Like, I need to fill out this yeah. card, and I don't, I don't know who the hell to call on like short notice yeah. right now. And then you were you wastegate the was there too, right? Yeah, I'm trying to remember who was on that first one. Were they? There was a wastegate. Wastegate. Were they at the double? Was a were they really? Yeah, they played um, Did they play? Okay, so it was like, because I think it, maybe I'm backing up there a little bit, be, like before what you're talking about. But that's how we ended up getting hooked up in the same practice room as you guys. That's kind of how yeah. we first met, right? That's kind of how we first met what when you guys the- were with Mr. Mad and Kramer. I thought well, we played at a different place. Was that? Did was you that guys after? go to the? No, well, did you guys go to the practice studio before that gig, or was it after that gig? Hmm. That's what I can't remember. I think I thought it was right after that gig. That you right. What was the name of that place in Lombard? Uh, <laughs> Lombard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm here. I'm here for the. Hope. I'm here for this content, man. Luco's got the content. That's Hemi Chevrolet. At live hour with with clown porn playing. Yes, I remember that show. Is that real? Yeah. That yeah, I remember that. That was the Thanks Killing show. That that was you guys' last oh, show. We're gonna get to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is I, that when we opened? I, I played Livewire more than any place ever. And then this. We're gonna talk about this too in a second. I'm gonna come back to these mm-hmm. comments. All right, hold on. So I have I got the flyer from that show right here. All right, hold on. From know, the I'm double door one. Flyer in a second, about? but no. Yeah. So Sean, you guys, right. I think you guys moved in like after, okay. after we did that. That thing that uh that show because here let me display this okay. um my yeah here, I check can't, this out I'm kind of I fuzzy have... on that I think you're oh. right I thought it was before but yeah I think you're I think you're right check this out this is this is the flyer from uh from that show so it's Wednesday July thirteenth 
floating. 2011. There, oh, God. The I remember, Wolves. I remember the that. Wolves. <laughs> the Wolf, yeah, that's right. That's oh, you right. can't see my. Hold on. He gets July the Hemi logo on here. Was that so? Was that 2011? Yeah. Double door. This is 2011. Is that 2011. There we go. But the double, double door is cool. Man, Look at that. Look, that was such a long time ago. That's like, yeah, this one just blows my mind. It wasn't that long ago. Wow, I, dude, I, I it was such a long time ago, yeah. man. Damn, man, that went by fast. We're, I mean, Isn't that crazy? We're still kicking. I can't believe it. All these years later, oh, yeah, oh, Steve from All Wolves made this this post, which I yeah. love, right? Oh, did he? And he, uh, did he? Never, yeah. he made sure to let you what know. What did he say? No, he just made this. He made the poster. I always love this logo for this this great gimmick for some reason. But uh, no, that was the first after like we all became kind of tight and um, we were like, you guys want to move right. into our studio? You guys need a space? You guys are getting serious yeah, about shit. I think you know, right. I like, I, now that you mentioned that. I think that place right. was haunted, man. That place was haunted. I never, I never found any ghosts. I mean, it was kind of creepy, but I feel like we kind of haunted. Yeah, it was I weird. Feel like, I feel like, so you guys, how long were you in that space before we moved in with you guys? Because that was the old right, so space we that moved was in there. It was like off of Austin and something. We like moved that. in there in the 2007, right? Or was it 2008? 2007, right? Yeah. Now we yeah. moved in there in 2007. Wow, okay. Uh, that was oh, wait, hold on. Tim a... wants to pop in here. Oh, what up, dude? Tim, Tim in here. Yeah. What's oh, up, man? Uh, there he is. What up? We can't what up, Pete? <laughs> what up? We can't hear Tim. Until we... Oh, you can't? I can hear him. Oh, shit. Luka, he hear me? In, we, huh? love, we love. Okay. I can hear you. You hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, brother. I made it. What's up, brother? What up? Spread up! Yeah. Put your headphones. <laughs> there he is. Do I sound good this time? Because last time I sounded like shit. Yeah. Can hear you? Yeah, me too. Don't yeah. worry. We all, Gup's got the headphones yeah. this time. I got headphones in. So yeah, I got a way. microphone on my headphones. Oh, Let's see the them nip. Continue on. Carry on. There's a microphone right. on. Gonna Sorry, Luke, he's, he's a professional here. So, I mean... It's just not he the card. Nip, dude. <laughs> Luca's looking for some nips tonight. That's for sure. Uh, Luca, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> no, like, I'm, I'm watching game four of uh, the 2010 uh, Western Conference Finals where the Hawks uh, spoil another Sharks lead. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but I, I went to Hawks one win. game. Man. I think they win. We played San Jose when I went. Those kids have a chance. Uh, I hope they, they might have a chance hmm. there. But, yeah. <laughs> I, oh, man. Back to time, back back the timeline. Man. All right, here. Didn't think I'd see it. All right, so here's the time myself. Good season. I don't know if he can, he's messing with his sound. He can't hear us yet. Okay. But um, but here's the thing. All right, so so we do that show. You guys move in. It was like, all right, cool. Let's move yeah. in. We're all pals. That sounds now. right. And yeah. then wait, wait. Lost the hall. Um. Yeah. So like we were all like in one little hallway. <laughs> right. Cool. Yeah, they were right across the hall. Yeah. <laughs> and I love them, man. They were they were great. Um, what the hell was it? But... Johnny Lightning? <laughs> Johnny Lightning? Remember that guy? No, no that's a different guy. Yeah. Oh. From Ben. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, <laughs> I, I, but, I missed uh, it. But then, like, so that was 2011, right. Sean. And then you guys, um, you guys, we just keeps on cutting out. Summer too. of 11. But... I right, will chill. Hang on. Don't yell. Yeah, Don't yell if you can't cut it out. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, man. But uh, uh, good. 2011 was that like the last year? That was like you, just, you said the Thanksgiving show was your last show, right? I mean, that was the last year? show, but we were like, we we're so when we get, went in that practice space with you guys, I, I, I guess maybe we didn't play another show, but I, I don't know. I think that was our last gig. We must. Oh no! I no the the I live wire that. the live wire one the Thanksgiving live yeah. wire. Yeah. So I guess we played that one, but like after that, I think it, I think we we like we're looking for a practice space because I think we were practicing at Pat's, and I guess we needed somewhere to be louder. The or cop, something. or like the cops got go. Yeah, you know the cops kept getting called. I don't know. Um, yeah, I heard the last time, Yeah, you, you hear me? guys can't. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear oh, you. Yeah, all right, good. Finally, What's yeah, up, we're, we're, we're trying to, <laughs> we're trying to establish timeline here. So we got okay. So we played the double door together. I met you at work. I met you at work, and then you're like, "I got this band," and I was like, "Great! I need another band to play this double door show." Then you took it back to these guys. You guys agreed to do the show, so we did that yeah. show together. Yeah. 
And then it was like after that, you guys moved into the studio. And then did you guys play any more shows after that? So now let, let, for, let me set up for everybody listening. At this point, now Tim and Sean are in abstraction with Pat and Spencer. Me, Gup, Mr. Mad, and Kramer are in Hemi, but we're all one big like family yeah. of bands here. Okay. Yeah. But did you we're guys the same did you do any of those shows after that Double Door show? Just, just the thing. Yeah, the thing one. We did that. The yeah, thing. we the, the Double Door show was fucking sick. First off, yeah, that, that was really was awesome. fun. That was an awesome show. We yeah. brought out a whole bunch of people. We had a and bunch that, of people uh, watching on that st- online. Remember that they had that online stream too. Tim, I, I you, got, you, had, you guys you already talked about the Double Door show, and I'm like just late to the party here. Yeah, we just started talking. We're, about yeah, it. no, we're just kind of getting. We just started talking about shout out. We have somebody who wants to shout out. Who the hell is that? Shout, shout out. out. Who's shout out? Catherine. Hey, Catherine. what's up, Catherine? What's Notice. up, Catherine? I don't like, know. Notice. Who is it? What's up, Catherine? Notice. Uh, <laughs> Notice. <laughs> what up? We noticed. <laughs> um, so, okay, so we did that. So I, and I think I got – so the Thanks Killing Show was later that year. I think it was, it was later November. that year. It was yeah, – Yeah, it was November, right? Thanks November. Yeah, thanks it killing. was. It was, uh, it was a Thanks Killing. Black right? Friday. Yeah. Thanks Killing was, was named so after the, the killer turkey from the Netflix movie. <laughs> Have you seen Thanks Killing? That movie's awesome. You seen that movie? Oh my god! Oh, it's I about that. Oh, it's hilarious. I haven't that's seen that at all. Oh, that's good. I have. That. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna find it. Hell yeah, dude! But uh, I got that too. <laughs> all right, so that, so that, yeah, but, that was that's basically where we're at right now, though. We, we, yeah, we got that's. Did you guys do any other? Show yeah, so between we played um we played Double Door and that was like when I was like only like somewhat familiar with your music still. I had seen you guys a few you times. You were still like, very I new. Yeah. I didn't know the songs yet that well yet, besides certain ones. Yeah. And uh we raised that show too, like for your yeah. set. Like we oh, were yeah. all up in there. Yeah. And then um was, uh... and then Thanks Killing. Thanks Killing was legit. I, what other bands were on there? Oh, Dude, I'm trying to find it. Whoops, whoops. It was awesome. I got that. Was, was uh, join us for that too? Yeah, yeah, yeah escape, right? I think so. I think they I'm did. Sure. There were yeah. a lot of us. Yeah. I mean, it just made sense. I mean, it's I, like those are the band, you know. Love, they were good bands. I too. loved Wayscape. Yeah, they were really yeah, good. Yeah, Wayscape was good, man. I, those it, was like, it was like, I was like, so bummed out when they broke up. I was like, damn, you guys were good. The fuck? Yeah. But, uh, but here's the thing. I, here's a little quick tie in. Super, super quick tie in, though. I got to, I got, I have to rewind just for a second. Yeah. No, go Before for it. Before any of that happened, I saw you guys perform at JD Muggs in Addison. Oh, you're uh, at one of those? Oh my god. JD? This is how I met we played this is how I met Tim. Yeah. Marco, my Marco, who was friends with Tim also, they were on the same team at work. And he's like, Yeah, this dude's in a band. I'm gonna go see their band uh, this weekend. So then he's like, Come with me. So that's when I went and saw you guys perform at JD Muggs. Oh, because I invited Marco. Yeah, yeah. So I don't I, even I, know I, if I, I knew Marco. Marco I knew that. Oh my god! I didn't know you at the yeah. Marco yeah. Polo himself. Just, that's because I didn't have a beard. Marco Polo he didn't recognize me. <laughs> but that's yeah, that was <laughs> a fun show. That was a really fucking fun show. And I remember we all got really drunk. And um, like one of us, I don't know. The place sounds cool. Some one of us spilled a beer all over the other dude's cab from that other band that we didn't. Like. <laughs> I think that was you, man. Oh, I think that okay. was you. I think that was Tim. Yeah. I remember. I think I remember. I, you said, like, I think I accidentally spilled this beer all over this guy's cab, and they were dicks. They were dicks anyway. Nope. So. I remember yeah. this. The, guy, the other band was called Dillagaff. I'll never forget that. You were at that and the show? dude. Oh my Dillagaff. God. I, I wasn't going to oh put a band name. I wasn't going to get involved with that. But. I never forget. Dillagaff. Like, they had the guy. The I guy, think the guys that were in the mask. Right, the pig Holy man. Shit. Dude, the pig man. Yeah, crowd. I saw that. Yeah, so so there was like there was like, it was very guys are good. It was kind of like new metally, right? And then like the uh, there was just a dude, like a hype man, kind of like a like yeah. They got their they got like their yeah. flavor flavor guy, and he would just he put on the stick this like bloody wrong. pig mask, <laughs> and he would literally just while the band played on stage, he would walk around in the crowd and just walk was, around and just flip people off like yeah. directly in front of their face, and like that was like his whole his whole face. It was bizarre, dude. It was it was absurd. It was absurd. <laughs> I've never seen it anything like it Damn. since. That's cool, man. But it, I mean, it made you know it worked for the band name. I mean, it made sense. I got right? yeah, I got. It sounds like something mayhem would do. It was so bizarre, man. That was so. Does bizarre. it look like I give a fuck? Was the band name? Yeah, yeah that's what 
You were so, at that so let show. me so let me t- back, no shit. Back I was at that show. I was there. Wow. I was at That's that show. Sorry, sorry we didn't didn't hang then. No, I didn't know you at the time. Well, I guess we had we had all this time to catch up. So. I remember, <laughs> I remember that uh, Spencer did a solo rap like a, like acapella verse in the oh, middle okay. of the set. And I was like, yeah, acapella. Was, oh, this is that, that was part of the. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, we, I did it with them. I did it with yeah. them. We played. We covered a. Te- we did a Tech Nine song. We did. Um, I remember yeah. Tech Nine. That's right. Yeah. I still remember. We, I'm like, man, this is kind of interesting because because Tim did play guitar. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's interesting. Yeah. It's different. We yeah. did it. We did a Tech Nine like kind of like ballad rap song, and he yeah. straight up rapped all three verses, and I played like acoustic in the background. It was legit. <laughs> it was we nailed it. I, th- I think that was kind of nice. put together like pretty last minute too. Oh yeah, oh right? yeah, yeah. And that was that was kind of that was kind of our brand. I mean, we practice our own songs, but I think we would like try to squeeze one in, you know, right before the. Did you guys yeah. film it? Yeah. We always did some cover here or there. Yeah, um, yeah. We we always kind of kept it. Uh, we didn't play like the same covers. Like we we'd play, um, we did Orion the one time. At that, I think we, we were Ryan. talking about the last number on here. Yep. We, did, we, we, did we actually played that pretty well. We did we, we did Knights of we did Knights of Sidonia. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Which was really tough. Uh, that was a fucking hard song, dude. Yeah, and Tim did the uh, keyboard at the end. Yeah, I did cool. keyboard and guitar. That was cool. Yep. <laughs> so that. Tim, Tim cool. can you? This is freaking like nine years ago, ten years ago almost. That's a long yeah. time, man. I, I, I mean, can't these, believe it. I can't believe it's been that long, Tim. I mean, t- Tim, yeah, Tim and I have been playing together on and off for better part of ten years, which is awesome because Tim's an amazing player. Oh yeah, musical oh, man. It's like good guy. chemistry. So it's really well, cool. Back, well, interesting. Mean, this roots go back that long. Yeah. yeah, I didn't do much of the writing and abstraction. Like that shit was written when I joined. Right. And written we were, by you. It was like, right? I mean, it was a pretty, it was like you, Spencer, a lot of my Pat. riffs. It was like some expenses stuff for sure. Um, some Pat stuff. I mean, Lyrical. it was kind of like, it was kind of like everyone <laughs> um, arranging together. And it was like a little bit of Evan as well. Cause you, you would, when you joined, you were doing some of the solos on that, uh, that demo EP. You did the solos on those. Uh, yeah. At least, at least most of I them, did. I think. Yeah, I did that, and then right. I like just I did all the recording, um, but I mean I didn't do much of like the scratch writing. Well, we got someone in here from Brazil. Is that right? Brazil, Brazil. Brazil. Oh yeah, that's I'll a cool place, that. man. Brazil. I, I, want, I want to show you guys something. Hold on, hold on. Check this out. I was able to find this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at oh, that's that's the original. No, that's hey, the flyer. Oh, they're, they're oh, all man. Amazing. Dude, oh, that was wastegate. That's the actual logo from the it fucking was... movie. Thanks, Killing. So, yeah, I, mean, I, told, I totally stole it from the movie. Yeah. I 100% oh, stole nice. it from the movie. So that, the, Hemi, the Hemi logo Five is pretty wire. much... Pretty much... Uh... What's up, Jessica? Thanks for checking it from Brazil. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah, dude. I remember that. Yeah, so it was just the three of us. And it was, it was Black Friday or some shit. I remember that. That was the whole thing about that. Yeah. But... um. So that okay. So Sean was saying this ended up being the last abstraction show. I could you guys be totally like, out of talking out of my ass, and I, I I can't remember if we played any shows after that. I thought that was our last one. Tim, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I have no idea. No, I'm pretty I, sure that was our last one. Was that our last one? Because then yeah. we because then we started. We were practicing in the practice space, and we were we were we were trying to write new music. I think we had a couple of new songs. We yeah. had a couple of new songs. At least one that we played live. We had two and, songs that we played live quite. a yeah times. we just never recorded them and we never recorded them but um oh. yeah it was kind of like I, I think it was like 2012 2013 and we were like trying to write i can't even i don't even really remember like what the holdup was on like recording or if we were just trying the to the like, first single stuff. was called fearless prevail and it was like a six minute yeah instrumental it was all instrumental and it was fucking sick it was like <laughs> an old school thrash thrash riff and that, yeah thrash, with like metalcore nice. stuff in it we actually never had done anything like that song um and it was sick and i'd yeah. still record that someday i i, I think should. that'd be awesome if we did the second one was yeah. called the cleansing and we literally wrote it in <laughs> yeah. one session which we had never done before but it was a legit song and it was like very like alice and chainsy vocals yeah. and like new metal kind of riffage which was really different yeah. for us too and that's kind of like what Where i was can i get before. that man we just don't have a recording have i can record for you one day man. in the studio <laughs> but no i was oh. talking to, I oh, cool, man. before before you, I'll give you a serenade <laughs> Before you logged on, we were kind of, oh, yeah, kind of talking about the beginning 
of abstraction. <laughs> and yeah. like, I was kind of saying that was like our kind of like our roots and our chops for that it was like that old school kind of thrash. And like, like for me, yeah. it was like definitely like Metallica and like Ice Earth and Megadeth influence and definitely like Alice in Chains. Megadeth. Yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. That was pretty much like, like our, our brand of, uh, of stuff right there when we were when we were doing well, that we did, so we, it, it was, was starting like, to progress to other other things because you had you definitely threw your flavors in there too yeah i mean we had we had we had spencer doing like raps on like some parts yeah and we had like um right. on the, was on the march. i mean on the march like, in particular was like you know that was like rap his, metal oh yeah his, uh, we, had, we had a we had courses that sounded like tool like it was all over the yeah. place man right we that was definitely funny. it was unique for sure that was uh, really, i like that new tool album yeah but here it's really, that so so yeah. paralleling this at this point, right? So you yeah. guys play your last show, <laughs> Thanksgiving's the last show, mm-hmm. not with the intention of being the last show. Then you guys started having a little like issues. And I remember around this time, we were going through, like Gup and I, with we had Kramer in, but we were going through the whole thing with Mr. Mad was fading at this point too. Yeah, he never but, showed up. Not 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 till like later in 2012. So we were kind of like like up and down, like yeah, later on. Like 2012, 2013 kind of. Yeah, yeah. Like more, like more, that, that, more officially by 13, 12, okay. 12, we were still gigging pretty heavy. Okay. But uh, I remember in 2012 in the summertime, you guys were thinking about calling it a day. And then like, we all went to Kuma's and I'm like, no, 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 you guys can't call it a day. We all went oh, to Kuma. I remember that. Yeah. Then, I remember like, me at the time I was like burnt out on it and I just like wanted to chill from music for a while. Um, yeah. And, and then I, I was I like, okay, I'll, it. I was like, I'll join a band, but I, I don't want to like make any decisions or do shit besides you tell me what to play and I'll play it, which is exactly what I did in Hemi for like a good like. No, no, this is, no, wait, back up, back up. I'm not even talking Hemi yet. I'm talking. Oh, okay. When Bring you guys, when Hemi you guys were, sauce. when you guys were still, think, when you guys I were about to break Trent, up abstraction and I convinced you guys to stick it out for another few months. Yeah. Because we, we want the, we want the Kumas. You remember that? And I was like, no, nah, don't, don't, don't cash it in yet. Just but, that um, in itself was a great memory. Going to Kumas yeah. and having a meal with you. Oh, yeah. Kumas is the best. You know? I, don't so, know, I don't know if I remember that. You don't remember that at all? Oh, we good. went to Kumas and I, and then I remember Sean. <laughs> it, I might remember not Sean have, it might not have been there. It might have just been Kuma's myself. A lot. No, it was all of you guys, yeah. man. It was all was because it? I remember Sean oh, actually texted me. He texted me later and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. you're like, you're like, you're a hell of a salesman. I got to say. Because <laughs> I like convinced you guys to stick it out. Right. Um, I mean, we, yeah. And we, like, we, we got back in there and practiced for a while. I, I think we were just kind of, it just kind of, we were like in between like whether we wanted to like write more stuff or like, you know, play gigs or whatever. And I, I yeah. think like Tim said, like, uh, like for me, I, I was starting to get into like different styles that I was wanting to pursue. And um, I, I kind of got that opportunity to join Pterodactyl King too, like later in 2013. So I felt like that was like, like an opportunity to do. Yeah like something different that oh, was yeah. more along the lines of what I was starting to get more into. I guess I was kind of getting burnt on that stuff too, really without like realizing it. Yeah. So, and I like, well, I felt bad because those guys, you know, those guys are my friends, but it was like, I was kind of getting burnt on that too. You know, it's just like, I, I was wanting to get into new stuff. So that's kind of when it hit that, that plateau, I would say kind of hit that. That wall. For me, it was like, abstraction was like, it got me on stage a lot. It got me used to playing on a stage yeah. consistently. Absolutely. Um, and, so your first band? Me, uh, no, no. I, I was gonna say, like, was I, yeah, in college, I was in, oh, a, cool. in a cover band. We all we did was like play like awesome house parties and shit, like just covers. Like, awesome house nice. parties. Like we did like Andrew <laughs> WK. Awesome. And, That's the like, best. <laughs> the darkness awesome. and just like party party uh, metal. You know, it was legit. Um, nice and that's kind of what I wanted to do again was just like turn the brain off and just cover songs, but. Yeah. Um. I I think once I got an opportunity to like write in this band, that's when I like that like what sparked it again for me. When I got to yeah. actually like write right. Yeah. So um. So okay. Damn, so, these things are loud. Yeah. Turn your volume down. Your turn phone. Down, man. On your phone. <laughs> oh, Luco. Uh, I'm pretty sure we uh, have more hot sauce. It's all right. Right? Oh, yeah. Luco. Yeah, Let me display this. Display from Luco. Luco. We are. Oh, hot sauce. We are down to like our last couple, but. As soon as all this pandemic shit's over, I'm ordering like I got an extra cases. bottle if you want. I'm gonna order like six cases for Tim because he that's wants a deal. That's a cases. deal you can't beat right there. I got the uh, old stuff too, man. Oh, all right, but check this out. So timeline, right? Here we go. So around the summer, well, you guys tried it like around the fall. I think it was like officially over. It was like you guys like pretty much like 2013. Yeah, like right before the winter of 12, actually, but before 13, you guys were like call, about to call it a day. Oh no no no! You went into thirteen, yeah, because yeah, I don't, I don't know the years. 
13, yeah, yeah, no, in 13, 13, cause, 13 cause, yeah. Like we, we, were <laughs> ta- we were talking about like, I remember, I remember being at Tim's old apartment and we were ta- like, I was basically saying like, Hey, we got like an opportunity to join this other band that was, you know, over a game of, over a game of Mario golf. <laughs> probably, probably, which I finally then, got okay. again. Mario golf. I love yeah. that game. Been, been playing yeah. that like crazy since Mario I Mario Kart. repurchased. Yeah. So yeah. around There's like January of 13, me and Mr. Matt went to Vegas, and then like, that's when he kind of was like telling me, "He's like, dude, I can't. Vegas! He's like, I can't do it anymore. He's like, I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm injured. I'm too much pain. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. So I was like, all right. Was so then he, we came back, and then I was still working with Tim. So I was like, that's when I asked you at work. You remember that? Like, I went to, I went to at work, and I was like, I was like, hey, like, would you be up for trying? Yeah, this? I remember you talking about that. Yeah, and I was like, what do you think? Like, Matt wasn't officially officially out yet, but I was like. What do you think? Do you want to like come by and jam? I told Kramer. He was like, "Yeah, dude, bring him in." Uh, so then you just kind of like showed up for a couple of practices, and we like it clicked right away. And then Sean, at that point, you and Pat had the pterodactyl king opportunity, right? That was like, like yeah, that was like after that. We so it sort of it sort of worked out. I think. I mean, I guess you know, I I, I would say now I think it worked out for everyone because everyone kind of the missing link went down went down the the path that they were supposed to, you know. Yeah. To end up where we were. So, so, so like, this is, this is the cool part. So 2013 happens. So Tim starts showing up. Tim starts like getting in the band and around April, like Tim, I think it was officially like last week was officially your like seven years in the band. Like we announced wow. it on the video. I missed like, yeah. Tim has been in like, Hemi for seven years. You always years. Like, <laughs> you're, you, you, you do all the oh, yeah. Thursdays and shit. So you know all the years and the dates, yeah, yeah. And exact dates and shit. I don't know. Really <laughs> I love that. I love that stuff, man. Uh, oh, yeah, I too. That. But, uh, so like, so it was like April of set of thirteen. He we officially announced it, and then Sean, you had uh, you had started work. You had um joined Terry. You guys started doing something with Terry at that point. Yeah, right? that's when we you and Pat. started started getting going with them because they they wanted to do some sh- some shows. So that's when we started. Yeah, playing playing with them. So pretty, you guys started doing regular. that. Yeah, you joined AJ and Mark for that. Yep, and then, that's that was the beginning of the the AJ relationship, which which will tie in as well. Yeah, that's gonna tie in a second. Well, AJ, so many little things. Yeah. So then yeah. Gup, Gup, we uh at that point, like I remember because uh, we already knew Tim, so it was like familiar enough. So we were like, yeah, it was perfect. So Gup and I yeah. were like, like we were bummed that that Mad left, but then it was like a perfect fit because Tim came in and killed it. So it was awesome. Right. Tim killed it. I mean, he killed it. Oh yeah, Tim killed it. But like Tim best. had to learn all these songs like quick. <laughs> then his first show, his first he learned show, it fast, man. He learned it really fast. And it's so first, show, first show was at the Ultra Lounge. <laughs> oh, yeah, it. dude, the Ultra Lounge was the shit. I remember that. Yeah, that place that. is cool. I have the date. Hold on. It was uh, Mr. Monster, Monster or something, right? Sacred Tim's, Monster. Tim's first show was November 10th of 13. First show. And, wow. and all, all of Abstraction came out to that show. Yes. Yeah. They did. Yeah, they did. I remember that. It was pretty sick. I have I a think good photo of it. I think you were playing my guitar that one, too, right? I might have been. Is that the one? Yeah. I think I had to loan you my guitar for that one. No. I don't remember. I did yeah, a lot yeah, of Mr. guitar Mad... for a while there. Yeah. <laughs> how is this for how is this for like art? <laughs> Mr. Mad's last show was at the Ultra Lounge and Tim's first show was at the Ultra Lounge. The Ultra like, Lounge was awesome, yeah. man. I, was, I, I was love so that, that place. place is dope. Was, one, that was my first show with you guys, but then I saw the stage was cool. There. I saw Revocation cool. headline there once and Cannabis Corpse played there. Good place, man. Oh man, really, really? corpse is the best cannabis. Um, hold on, I got. Oh well, yeah, got. Yeah, I don't know. Gup, he's talking about cannabis, cannabis corpse, not not cannibal. Oh, sorry, man. The other, sorry. The other corpse. <laughs> I heard of them too. The other corpse. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. Oh, I heard of them too. <laughs> the four twenty one. I got. Yeah. I got something right. I can. I got something I can share from uh, yeah. from that show. Actually, hold on. Yeah. I love the I got, uh, video. I love the. I love the. Some beef cakes. Dude, I haven't watched those clips in forever. No. No, nah, not care? video. I mean, I can't. Well, video is a little tricky you? to play on this thing. But okay. I can, but it's a little tricky. I got a photo. That's Tim's oh, first show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. There, is that the oh, line man, six? Oh, man, that's Is that the line six, too? That? Probably. Oh, man, I can't tell. Dude, that dude's yeah. tall. So is, Cr- is, Kramer playing, is Kramer, Kramer playing an orange head? Can- cantable corpse. <laughs> nice. Kramer is playing a no. Did he have, he had a, 
I think the orange, the yeah. orange head was somebody else's. Because Gup's not even playing his kit. Hey, Gup, Trent, you're Trent, not even playing your kit there. Trent, where's your beard? Where I can't see. I would love to play an orange. No be- but Trent, where's your beard? Whose kit bro? was that? Where's your beard? No beard. beard. Bro? Look at that. None of us no have beard. facial hair. <laughs> None of us have um, beard beard. beardless Hemi. Yeah. Our, oh, Gup, I, world, I think. Man. I think Gup is playing Who was Spencer's, that? Spencer's kit here. Is that Spencer's? Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. Spencer's kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh it was God. a, it was a I forgot about that. That's what I didn't yeah. have a kit, Rip. Oh, oh, Tim, you're playing the LTD. Never mind. Yeah, yeah I, yeah, I, I played that one for a couple of shows because it's got the. Uh, the they EMG. might have had a house kit there. Yeah. Those EMGs yeah, are pretty sick. That, that was my go-to for a long time. I don't, I don't really like the duct tape job on it personally, but the oh, EMGs the sound really job. good. <laughs> the duct tape job. I don't know why I did it. Duct tape. Tim, can that be like your, your, your model? Can that be like your signature model? Duct tape guitar. <laughs> fixes everything i don't know why i did it i think i think i, I was like i think i had like an air bubble or something pop out uh, of the paint and i just decided to cover it up with duct tape and just <laughs> go across. So funny <laughs> who do we, who do we play uh, with at this show like, we played with look at this pale horse named death they were awesome That's they were, oh, yeah, they were yeah. good man they were dudes in that band negative. yeah x typo negative also yeah. of old, they were old, legit old. At this they, they were good old as well Damn, how many times do you play with those oh, wolves? Oh, not man? wolves. You play with those wolves a lot. They still wolves. Oh, uh, good. Oh. A lot. Those guys are really active. Oh, man. They were yeah, I like them. I don't Quite remember Braver. With Braver. I don't remember that name. Bra- yeah, I don't remember them either. That was a cool ass poster, though. That is a yeah, it looks dope. Poster. They were really pro. I mean, Pale Horse. Like, they Pale had Horse. Professional, you know, gigs. I think the orange amp was theirs. But, yeah. um, so, okay. So, then, so that's 2013. Uh, and then we go in to record. The record like soon after that show we did maybe well we played we played a couple more after that started doing the record started with domino with mike domino started doing it with him and then we switched gears because so sean you started working with us when what year was that we started we all started working together that right? was um 2015 no it had to be before that it had to be before that like, I heard, like 13, actually yeah. like maybe maybe i actually started jamming 2014 like maybe no start, no maybe well, well, when you started at when you start at Echo? Oh, you mean like legit like work like our actual yeah. day job? Not not for you anymore because you're you're a craft guy. Yeah. Now. Uh 2014. I started somewhere okay. in 2014. Yes. Okay. So um, this is how it worked still out. there. Yes. So here's still how it worked out. So I remember Hell yeah. <laughs> we started working together and then we're all like working in the same office. Sean sends me yeah. a demo of something you guys recorded with AJ, who was your guitarist he, in King. He's extraordinary. I mean, the dude, the dude's unreal. He's just, so, he's amazing. I remember, I remember hearing that and going, "Get me whoever did this. I need to, I need to, <laughs> we need to record with this guy." That's right. That's and I'm right. like, oh, I'm like, get me this guy's information like immediately. Yeah. And then that's how this. So this is this is where the time the timeline gets all interesting. So Sean's in a band with AJ, hey, who's a producer, and also with Pat. Who yeah. are, who's former abstraction with Tim, who's yep. now in Hemi. So now that's how we have this. So that we we hook up with AJ to start recording Undivided Intentions in early 2014, or like around this time, 2014. And so Tim's like walked in and modified a bunch of shit, enhanced a bunch of songs, made it fucking way better at this Enhance. point. Enhanced. Enhance. But here's the thing. In the midst of all <laughs> this, because uh, we did... Undivided was just the three of us, right? We that was just us doing that one, Tim, right? Yeah, that was three of us. Yep. Yeah, Sean so like, did some too. So here, so here's Sean the thing. So like it. one, one guest, guest line. So here's the interesting part. We that started, was cool though, Brie. We started recording with Domino. In between that, Kramer leaves the band, and it's just the three of us. And I can, Tim, I got to ask you, like, I know there was like a tremendous amount of pressure on Tim to like take that lead on like there was a lot of pressure on him to be like okay well this guy's gone here's a bunch of songs you didn't write you just modified and here you go <laughs> so yeah right because we started oh, with yeah. AJ really after high, he right? left uh, already okay so we basically started from scratch again with aj yeah yeah, yeah. i mean but no, like, before, before we that, just we, play on the fly we played we played uh we played a bunch of we played a couple shows three-man shows um before we recorded, didn't we? I'm trying to remember yeah. that. But anyway, um, yeah, we played like two or three. We did two or three trio shows, yeah. Because I know yeah. one, one, I went, one Kramer I came I to, and I was like, one. Kramer came to one of them, and the first one. Yeah, right after he quit, right? 
I was yeah. at that one. Yeah, I John was, at, was there I, too. I was yeah. yeah, John. We had a smoke up. Spencer was there too, and I remember just thinking to myself, I was like, I was like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna shove this show up Kramer's ass because he's he he had the, <laughs> right. he had the nerve. He had the nerve to quit and then show up to the show. He like, fucking showed was up. No he, there was no heat, but I was like, I'm going to shove this fucking show up your ass. And we, we, I think for three men, we fucking murdered it. That show yeah. it was amazing at, um, at the, uh, what the hell is that place called? That, we, that we one bar. Quenchers. I got we out. Quenchers. 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 And we did a trio show at Reggie's. Quenchers. Yeah. Yeah. At, at Reggie's. Uh, and the, in the joint. Yes. So, okay. So at this point, so Sean gets me the tape of aj and i'm like okay we recorded this guy yeah so we shift the recording to aj now it's just the three of us uh aj had like has this whole new setup whole new vibe sean actually appeared on that record on ashes to ashes doing guest vocals in the intro which still does today so that's the so now that's another interesting time so now sean's on a hemi record which is interesting Woo. so at this point so now we do that we release that now we're like, we got to start gigging this show or gigging this out. So we're like, shit, what do we do? We got to start playing shows for this record. And we only got three people. And this there's guitar layers in this fucking album that need like four guitar players. So we're like, what do we do? So then um, what, ha- what <laughs> happens when you uh, when you have Tim writing layers of stuff? So we played. Is not enough. <laughs> no, I'm trying to see when we played. Uh, Two is not Reggie. enough. <laughs> Two is not I'm trying to see what the date was. Oh, I don't that but it was um, so then we did a couple just three man, and it was like it, it, you could feel it was like lacking because Tim was like, dude, it's lacking. It's not. It just doesn't have that that power. The record did. So then that's when, so we called you, Sean. At that point, this is like now into because we released the record in November, like Thanksgiving weekend of 2014. We played Reggie's like a month later. Then we're, Tim's like, dude, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. It's not gonna be true to the sound of that record if we just do three of us. That's when we hit up Sean and we're like, hey, do you want to like just come and play a couple shows? And you were a little weary, right? What was what was the vibe? Because you were like really in with Pterodactyl King at this point. I mean, we're yeah, I mean, we're like playing a bunch of gigs. We were playing legit gigs too. Yeah. Um God, that was already how many years back too? I yeah, I I think we were we're just playing a bunch of shows. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah, we we were just playing a fifteen at that point. We were just playing a bunch of shows at that point. We were just practicing a lot, and um, yeah, I can't, I can't remember, I can't remember why I was like, I mean, because now I look back and I'm like, oh yeah, like of course, like just, you know, why not, why not take opportunities to play yeah. music more often, you know? Yeah. Well, we're time. well didn't you guys go through I a thing where like it. you played, nice you played, you played a bunch of shows, then you like got slow because something. Something that's like slowed you guys down. Then you're like, yeah, I got a little time. I'll join you guys for some shows. Yeah, I think I, you, maybe we were like right because because we were writing new songs. They were recording yeah. or something. We're doing like you know we record. We're working on writing songs for our our record that we never released. You know. Yes. So then I still amazing, love that record. Awesome album. It's Thanks. so awesome. Thanks. Yeah, man. I yeah. want to buy it still. Sorry, you can have it for free, so then, man. <laughs> no, but uh, oh yeah, big, we were working bring it over next time. <laughs> yeah, you got it. So take take a look. I'm gonna display <laughs> more here. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna share something. So sure. Twenty uh, 2015. Yeah. Here, 20, Holy shit. Twenty. Nice Twenty. Enemy shirt there. That was our uh, recent show. Yeah. Oh, there we are. So I got this. So this is 2015. This is Sean's first show with us. Oh yeah, the Debonair Social <laughs> Club. Debonair. This is Debonair. This is I remember, I man, I remember Debonair. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. I went. I've been, so I've I been to Debonair. Act- I've been to Debonair a few times, like just to go to the bar there, like with buddies in the, oh, in the yeah. city. Yeah. Debonair is ridiculous because after they host these shows, it turns into a, a nightclub. It turns yeah, into a freaking like, yeah, it's like a night, like a coffee yeah. club. I remember that we were playing a show. That show we played there. I think I was wearing the Wu Tang show that shirt that night. That was that night. Yeah, that show we played. It was a Saturday night after our set. There was some uh, DJ about to go on, and like this dude yep. came in, like all dressed up, like for a nightclub, not realizing that a metal band was playing. And he uh, he was he was molly and hard. He, he went up to the front, yeah. and he was just oh tripping God, ball. Yeah. Yeah. He got, he got that guy was up. going nuts. Dude, we thought he was gonna be like, "What the <laughs> hell is this? Like, I'm gonna get out of here until this ends." He ended up like staking around all by himself, just tripping balls for a whole set in the front row. He was awesome. Oh my God, 
It was I amazing. I totally forgot about yeah, it. It was okay, amazing. Cool. Uh, I just remember. Remember the British guy, too? Hey, yeah. the big There's takeaway. There's some guy from Britain there. Sean, Sean Rock and the Toms at this show. Remember that, Sean? Yeah, totally. <laughs> like, Dude, it was, it, was, uh, <laughs> right. it was like middle of summer, wasn't it? It was hot. Yeah, it was, was middle of summer. As- or what? No, no. Actually, no. Yeah, it was hot as balls. Was it? Look at, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hon. Look at the date. Uh, May 13. Oh. It, wasn't, it must have been hot. Yeah, it, was hot. it was hot for March. Man. Is Sean wearing his uh, moccasins or whatever? Yeah. He was. <laughs> I didn't care. Moccasins. I didn't care. I love it. <laughs> didn't didn't care. Pappy go to that show, Trent? Yeah, I mean, our two former, two former um, comfort, comfort. members were at the show. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, that, was, that was pretty Pappy cool. And, oh, oh, yeah. David is. Yeah, David and Eric were at the show, yeah. Yeah, but um, so no, this was this is Sean's first show. March that was my 15, first. So like, that was, my, that was really the first show. Wow, that's so funny. Yeah, I remember so that. We released, yeah, I remember that. I love the uh, I love the flyer for this one. I gotta show this one to you guys. Hold yeah, on, I got the flyer for this one here. That's it right there. I just put a bunch, just a bunch of shit on the site. Hold on, I just love that flyer for some reason. I don't know why. Look at all these. Old, there's a bunch of old flyers. Yeah, that too. stage Holy was cool. There. Um. There's so many like random old flyers, like whatever we could find, we put in here. Here it is. Hold on. Uh, where is it? There it is. I love this flyer. It looks like a slip. I don't net. know why. I oh, always love that. Skinwalker. Skinwalker. No. A, a, oh, this is Quenchers. This is no. This is this isn't it. Where, I don't have the flyer for the other one. Oh shit! But, I thought I, I did. don't. I don't recall a flyer for the debonair one. But like, I know you keep them all. It's no. We had one. I, I know we did. That. Is this it? This isn't it. Is it? What the hell is Tony Iommi? No, there's so many random ones. This is your yeah, second show. I don't know show, if we Trump. had one. For that. Yeah, it was. I had one, one for it. I definitely had a flyer for it. I don't know where it is. Oh, yeah. there it is. This is it. This is it. How's this? I yeah, that's this. it. Friday. It was Friday the Thirteenth. That was Sean's first show. Oh Friday yeah. Friday. Hell yeah. I'm kidding. Awesome, I remember man. this group. Jason Sun, God, Sun God Ra. They they went so long that they like basically unplugged them. Do you guys remember this? Like the venue was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I stop. remember that. They were like, <laughs> yeah, they were like, you they were like the stop. house band there. Yeah, I love when they give like just random bills, fancy names like Chicago Heavy Fest, <laughs> and it's just like three bands on a fucking random night <laughs> in a random club. <laughs> I don't even think I don't even think every band was like that heavy either. So mm-hmm. it was no, they weird. weren't right. Yeah. So at this the- point. Yeah. At this point, Sean, you're you're still a member of Pterodactyl like a King. Weird. Ter- you're still a member of Pterodactyl King. You guys are working on stuff. Yeah. Digging live with us whenever we we yeah. like clear a schedule with you. So this 2015, this went on. Like we put a bunch of shows. 15, and then 16, we went in to record uh, the Motor Hemi record. Yeah. Uh, and we did the you know the little tribute. Uh-huh. And but you're still like at this point, like you're still making live that- dates with us. And then you yeah, guys that's are... still we're still playing through sixteen because we when we were starting to track that um, that unreleased record, um, that was yeah. at the end of twenty sixteen. That was like November, I think. End of sixteen. Yeah. And so like... so our motor motor hemi was recorded yeah. by AJ, who was in Pterodactyl King, but also our producer. Yeah. So there's like again, we're all linked. You, Pat, AJ, us, like we're all just one little one family here, and then um. So we do that. It's become Seven- incestuous, man. It did, man. Well, <laughs> like, man, it's it's all it's incestuous. And I'm gonna start making some beats for Spencer too. He doesn't know it yet. So I'm gonna make him some beats. Oh. <laughs> now that I'm on the on the logic, <laughs> making some beats. Yeah. There you go. So it uh no, it's interesting. So but you kept making appearances with us. Yeah. Like, you kept doing uh stuff yeah. with us, you know. Yeah, I think that's um, when shows started to slow down. So it was like, yeah, of course, like. You know, you guys are my bro. Like we, we had a pretty good thing going. I thought like the chemistry was really good, and I enjoyed like learning the songs. And was it was like just fun to play with you guys. You know, I still feel the same way about that today. It's just it's a it's a really fun environment. Like the chemistry yeah, yeah, works. You know? So oh, yeah, I kept I kept telling I kept there. telling Tim I'm like I'm like I'm gonna steal him from it I'm from from Pterodactyl. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna sign this guy <laughs> somehow. Slow, 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 get, uh, yeah, I remember that. Slow play. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, like get him, Tim's man. like Tim's like Tim's like I don't know. That's your job. I ain't gonna get in fun. Fu- <laughs> it's all yours. Like, like you, you guys, you guys can totally hear him saying that. Like I don't yeah. know. That's all your fucking thing. I ain't gonna fuck with that. That's your thing. You, you gotta do it. I ain't gonna do shit. I think he nailed it. I think he nailed it. Yeah, I think I think that. So, that pretty much. So I was like. I was like, I'll fucking get him. I'll get this guy. But uh, no, we, we were, I mean, we did so many shows from 15 Dead. 
till oh, we till, really did till today. We did, did a lot yeah. until like oh, yeah, we rocked it out. But then we yeah. went in, so we took off of man, I gotta say seventeen. I don't think we did much because we started writing. We went into, we went in heavy on Avalon to write Avalon. Seventeen. We didn't. We only did a few shows in seventeen, like two. Yeah. We didn't do much because we were like it was three of us, and we really wrote Avalon from scratch, right in the studio, right up. Like we were just doing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like we just did it. We did like a skeleton scratch and then pounded yeah. it out in the studio. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and we just. I like, wasn't really. I, I wasn't really involved with that. You. That was no. like the three of you guys. Still and, and, I think. I think that was kind of not. Sorry to cut you off, but hmm. just thinking back to what I was doing. Um, I Get think. I think it was like when we were um, finishing tracking because we were kind of like editing that that unreleased record. Yeah. So. I think we were like in the process of playing. We, I think we played like, I think we played two shows that year too. And then that was like, that, that was the last year that we played a gig um, before we uh, kind of just, kind of just See, ended. I, I don't know. I, I would still totally play with those guys again and release that record, obviously. I know we've talked about it, but like, yeah, I mean, I, I just kind of, it just kind of fizzled out. Yeah. So I remember. Uh, yeah. I remember sitting at a studio, at AJ studio, me and Gupper sitting there and, yeah. uh, and you were texting me, Sean, like, Hey, could you help me release this record? And I'm like, Oh, that's <laughs> I'm like, Oh, it's ironic. I'm sitting at, at your guitar studio <laughs> right now. And then I told AJ, I'm like, Hey, I'm talking to Sean about releasing your record. How could you sabotage the release trend? <laughs> so, so like, uh, no, what the hell, no, I, w- I remember I texted you. I'm like, I'm like, all right, yeah. do this, create the account here, whatever, whatever. Right. So I told you, yeah. but we never, it never went here. But, um, yeah, so I mean, we, yeah, it happens. Wait, 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 happens. No big deal. It all worked. It all worked out the way it was. <laughs> I'm and like I, ne- I would never, you know, I would never say no to to trying to, you know, release it again. I still think it'll get released at some point. It has to. Oh yeah. yeah. Dope. Dope. yeah. yeah that I, stuff like, is dope. You know, if those guys ever wanted to jam again or, or, or hey, I gotta get a charger, man. I'll be right back. Would, Good. Oh, are we all are we all taking breaks here soon? Maybe, maybe, I, should get a a maybe, maybe I should get a fresh beer too. Well, yeah. Wait till somebody comes back. So I'm not sitting here talking to myself. I won't leave you. I won't leave you alone. Tim, when you, Tim, when you tag back in, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tag go him back in. Too. Come back in and we'll talk. We'll take. We'll take a short break. Go, go, go. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm tagging out too. Tagging out. He's getting a drink. I have I'm my paused. coffee. I have my my cold brew that I made. Chaos going on there. Chaos. But, uh, no, but so, dude, the timeline's interesting. It's like. He joined. I'm looking at the dates on, on the thing here. Like Sean's first show was 2015. We played a bunch of shows. 16. That's when we did the radio thing the first time. We did the radio. Um, we broadcasted. Sean did. She joined us for that too. The whole. Um, remember we did the radio broadcast, and Sean was actually he performed with us for that one. And we went to the interview for um, 88. Oh yeah, we played live on the radio. That was yeah. Shit. I forgot about that. Sean, so Sean was there with us. Like he did that, and he actually. Yeah. We got that on video got, too in the studio. Yeah, it's all in there, and we then the whole like interviews on on the YouTube page too, and then yeah, then we just like we just went and started doing um. So hold on, let me get Sean back, and he's about to jump back on. Hey, Talking Sean, on, huh, he's got to get his headphones back in. Cheers. What's he drinking? He, what are you drinking, Sean? Oh, is What's that it? that Maplewood? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's what? got pre- premium shit. Yeah. What is are you drinking, Sean? Yeah. Oh, you know it, brother. Sick. Black Sean, we're, I was just talking. I was just talking about like we did that that radio gig with us. We did we broadcast it live on the radio. Oh, what a great! I mean, that's that one was of fun, man. The most memorable gigs, dude. They want us back, man. He, I talked to him. He's like, "Come on back, so we'll do that again." Shit. I think we uh, we got I we could play we can, Avalon there. We, get, we never performed we Avalon. Oh, no, we didn't. That's crazy. We performed Undivided Intentions. That we was did, yeah, we could. We did the release listening party there as well, but we didn't perform for the listening party because it was just the three of us. Yeah. No, they because uh eighty eight point three FM debuted it. Uh Alejandro there. Like he brought us on. We did the debut that night, played up played the whole album and did the interview. That's Northeastern Universities. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We, we should right do the same down, thing next time. We really right should uh right now down the block from my uh from my alma mater. That's right. We should definitely go perform Avalon there. But um yeah. uh no, but yeah, but like I said, Sean was like consistently with us. We did all those gigs. And then, uh, yeah, then seventeen, we just like took off to to write the record. We did a couple shows in the early part of the year, then we just like wrote the record. Sorry if you guys were trying to plan your schedules around little old me, man. No, because like sixteen, I mean, we <laughs> stayed we stayed busy game, with man. you. We stayed busy with you in fifteen and sixteen, and then yeah. 
17, we just we just yeah. took off the right because there was only three of us doing it. And Tim wanted to like really like make it an elaborate writing. So like we're like, let's just dedicate time to it. I think it really came out on that on that record. I remember hearing the songs when when like the this first cuts dick were... sucks. <laughs> I remember when like the first cuts <laughs> were coming through and Tim was sending me some of the demos and I was yeah. like I was like, man, this is like this is really good. This is Tim, really who good. was Sorry, your was, this phone was horrible. Tim, who was your uh, your rotation of like sending demos to to like get opinions yeah. whenever we'd come back? With Sean and who else? You know, Sean, someone... um, Foster. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I think that's about it. Like my Oh, dad, maybe. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it was it was awesome stuff. I mean, it was like just people who were in the circle. You know, I wasn't like yeah, showing yeah. to the world. People well, were, yeah, again. Yeah. No, then we're just talking about we're just talking about the radio thing. Go. Oh, cool. Uh, that was an like awesome the, show, man. That's so much. My fun. one of my big regrets, though, it's a huge regret I have to this day, oh. is that Sean did you did show up to one recording session when we were in the studio for Avalon, and it. it it bothers me that I didn't even just say like, "Hey, do a background vocal or do something," uh, so you could have been on that record too. Like, I really wish yeah. I would have said, "Here, just give me a harmony or something." Like, it fucking kills do me one, right now. Do one line and we'll print it. I, like, hey, even if it was one line. Hey, Peachy Kate, everybody, us. Peaches. <laughs> Fine. Be the bigger man here. <laughs> yeah, you could say next time you hit up AJ, you could uh, you could tell you know. You can air your dirty laundry about that. Be like, why don't we? Dude, really I can't, spot? We're gonna I go can't hang with that style. I, I can't hang with PTK style oh, guitar wow. player. We're gonna Shit's we're gonna go back in, remix the rec. We're gonna remix it and have Sean do a, a harmony. Yeah. Do a harmony. <laughs> oh man, hold on, hold on. Lake up. Look who's here. Look who's here. Look at this. Who is that? Chat. <laughs> Slam! What's up, Brian? Boy? Oh man. What's dude. up, brother? How you been? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> One of our biggest. Supporters from like early days, Brian. That's Lane. my boy, man. How about how about this crazy tie-in? I went to grade school with that dude with Brian Lane. I went to grade school with him. Yeah, and me and him went to a lot of metal shows back in the day. It was dude, cool. Tur- and then it turned out Gup knew him. Like on the other, his like, brother the like showed me the way of metal, man. He's cool. Dude, him and oh, his awesome. brother Lane. Lane awesome, Lane's the man, dude. Lane's the man. He went oh, to one of our shows, dude. man. <laughs> he started a mosh pit. Dude, I, dude. I. I was We're just thinking out about here. It. Cheers, man. Lane, I was just thinking about you, man. I was like, what the hell happened to this guy? Like, it's been a long time. Yeah, Good I haven't seen him man. since that show. It's waiting for us to get online and hang Dude, out. Lane, Lane was down, man, for sure. Oh, yeah. But, but so here, so to finish the round of the timeline here, we released Avalon in, uh, on the day before Valentine's Day, 2018. Zest put wipes. That, <laughs> put that out. And then, um, and then yeah, like 18. What are we doing 18. We didn't do many shows in 18. Yeah, we released it in 18. We released it, right? Yeah, we released it in 18. The release year. Yeah. Yep. Got ready for yeah. it. Then, then you played the the first show for it with us. At the end you, of 18, right? Yeah. It was the end we, of 18. We spent, yeah. Because yeah, right, we, we spent the whole, because then that's when, when things kind of fizzled with, with Pterodactyl King. And then it was like, well, if things are fizzling with that, like, I, you know, I'd still like to play music obviously like and i still yeah. really enjoy playing with you guys so if i got the time to oh yeah sean we love you you know uh love you too man love, love Thanks, you guys. Uh, hey, you were you were like i got time <laughs> and i was like dude if you got time well i got nothing else to do so yeah. you know no but like you know it was just like it kind of just fell into place where it was like yeah. you know what this is my this is my musical home you know, dude, yeah, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, it's awesome to have a home like that. And like, it's just really like it's like an easy chemistry where it's like we we are totally goofy and and it's you know, we keep dude, it. There's right. drama, I would be out in a second. No <laughs> drama, no drama. <laughs> no drama. <laughs> no drama. Like, no drama. Yeah, that's not the kind of <laughs> thing dude, that we're when, when Trent about. Cat when Trent was cat was drama on us up, man. When yeah. Trent tells me stories about Oops. drama and his band or other bands, I'm just oh, like, oh man, that's what this we girl cat man. That's what that's what I don't know if she's watching. The, she the might be watching. <laughs> oh, whoops! Damn it! Oh, whoops! I didn't mean that. I didn't, mean, I didn't say out? that. Can we edit that out? Hey, can we edit that out? This is literally like a band practice. We can't. We're fucking live. Out. We're fucking live. We're just gonna dish dirt. Hey, another Yo. thing. Fuck. Fuck I was just joking. No, here. I was just joking, Cat. 
no, no, this is really like a practice for us because we're we love it. It's like how it goes, man. It, it, we're we're totally goofy and keep it light, and then half the time we have to remind each other, like, okay, we need to actually practice the songs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, right. It, it, no, what it is like? True. We had we had uh we had like a we had drama before. Like up and I dealt with a lot of shit, you know, sure. like before, and a lot of up and down stuff like that. I mean, crazy shit. Like I mean, I'm talking. Literally, we want to get into a little bit of it from the old days. Go for oh, it. I mean, we we, can, we can, about episode three. Episode three can okay. be early days. We'll go back to early days. Episode three. Could dude, I mention uh, a name? I, I, I'd love a little a uh, little history on on. Oh like, yeah, it's like because oh, Eric Robles used to bust my dude, balls. Oh oh two <laughs> oh oh three to like oh, t- twenty ten. Oh, very... oh, three, oh, three was the was the official yeah inception official right? year. Okay. Official was 03. 03 to 10 were like there was a lot of like up and down. Well, we'll talk about that next week. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, another time, man. For sure. Sorry, but, I didn't mean to bring that up. No, 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 it's my head. It's fine. I had to get no, it out there. It's no drama, though. It's no, no drama. Oh, Gup, you got another comment. You, man. Got, you got more people in Who's your that? Gup. Kevin Belts. Kevin Belts. <laughs> what up, B? <laughs> How you doing? What's up, man? Boy. What's up, Kevin? Tavis. All right, so here we are. Hey, check it out. Brian Lane's got waiting for you guys. Always putting on another album and a live live in concert sponsored by Zest Whips. Uh, so here, what do you say? Zest Whips. Uh, that's what we used to talk shit about. Zest Whips. <laughs> so my, we my, made that my, up in grade school. That's awesome. awesome. I love the inside joke. I love that stuff. This man. dude would he could draw like a motherfucker, man. He was awesome. Yeah. Um. I was thinking, like, yeah. So we're thinking of live albums, Brian Lane. I was thinking, if we once once all this is over, we can get back on stage. We can nail a live show really perfectly. We'll put, we can maybe put that out before we do. Oh it. yeah, so, beep. See how it goes. But anyway, uh, no. So like, we did all that. All that was going on. Pterodactyl King started trailing off, and I was like, Sean, let's make it official, man. Let's just come on in. And then, dude, yeah. last last year we fucking stayed busy as shit, and we just we hit the oh, ground yeah. running in that nineteen. Was a man. great year, man. We learned we got, all. Yeah, that was a good year. Learned last all year. the material. Yeah. yeah. And, and we acknowledged a lot. Yeah, last year was good, man. We got uh, oh, yeah. the, all all these stuff with impact and everything. Impact. The impact, the impact thing was, I mean, yeah. what an awesome opportunity. I mean, just with your, you know, with your connections and oh yeah, you know, Rafi. they uh they just sent me uh it's amazing the first pay per view, the one in April, Rebellion, the first one they used this for. Mm-hmm. They just sent me the artwork for that. So uh, I gotta get like they sent me a custom artwork so for like printout like kind of like the other one we had the Bound for Glory one. Let me get that to everybody. They just like said, "Isn't this the one that w- was in Florida? Going to be in Florida?" No, the no. Tea, they call me, call you back. Yeah, no, hold on. So the uh, I'm talking last year. Last year's oh, was right. in Canada. The first one was in Canada, and then October was Bound for Glory, which they invited us to, which is nice. And then um. No, but this year was going to be another one in Florida that got canceled because of all this going on. But, uh, but yeah, man, like, no, and we WrestleMania. Back- yeah, they got canceled all the whole weekend. Oh, damn. But we, uh, but yeah, yeah, we made, we hit the ground running in 19. So now 20 kind of got stalled. We were like getting shit ready for 20. Yeah, we're we were busting book- shit up, man. We were about to get ready and just book some shit up, but a little stopped here. But, uh, but we'll get it, man. I, I think a fault. No, this is well. good. This is for the better. Because I probably would have never invested in this recording shit if this didn't happen. So yeah, Tim's got a recording gear at, ho- at the house now. Like it's, it's weird you know, how many things I, you guys too. We talked about this last time. Like yeah. we're doing that we probably would have put off forever had we not been yeah. locked in our apartments and houses. Yeah, yeah, true. I mean, it's true. A lot of shit like this gets done. You know, right? I already started writing lyrics for the next record. Sean had some riffs like, the other day. Yeah, the best yeah, songs were wrote in the room. Right. Yeah. Writing okay. shit, learning to record, like con- talking to like old contacts I haven't talked to in years. Like it's just like yeah. it has weird shit that- benefits to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're we we're making question. the best of it, right? I mean, what else can you do? We like, have a question we're, we're in the chat already. Who's the question, Brian Lane? Blues Any blues song? Hey, metal blues song. Metal song? So. Well, hold on, Lane. We did we'll this try. in the early we're days. About it. We did in the early days. Yeah, and it didn't go right. so long. <laughs> no, I, I think. Yeah, we did I, it back I, in the day. I am still like we we talked about doing some like uh like really dirty like doomy kind of yeah stuff. And if we did some doomy shit with like heavy mids and like sludgy kind of stuff, it would have to have a blues vibe to it, like like oh, that yeah, or like something like that. Like I'd love to do something like yeah. that. And I know we can pull it off. Oh yeah, yeah Lane. We've been talking about that. 
I mean, I don't like, know if someone... we necessarily have like a full dry out concept for the new album yet. Mm-hmm. But no. Well, we I mean, we're we're also kind of trying to piece it together, you know, like trying to. We trying got to the lyrics out. for once. So. <laughs> I I got I got lyrics. I got some idea, but this quarantine might be might be even um, have more. <laughs> influencing a lot more. Oh yeah, man. Let's write like another world. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm just I'm just getting some uh some uh social media and going for us just to let everybody know we're on. But oh, it, but yeah, I mean this is going to definitely influence some shit, no doubt. I think oh, you're nice. kind of forced to you're forced to be creative, you're forced no to Right. Dig up old lyrics. I got old, I got I found a file on my a folder on my computer. Dig up the book, man. The black book. Dude, I got the book the little, of, of the lyrics. little black book. I have the a little, little black, black book. <laughs> black book of lyrics, man. <laughs> and I even Good have one, a, I, I found a folder of like a bunch of lyrics I wrote that I never did shit with. I'm like, oh yeah. What the fuck was all this? I'm like, what is all this stuff? Oh man, I can't wait. I have no idea that. where any of it was from. Never uh what was that one train, crazy train? Ghost train, know, uh, you, ghost train. You wrote, crazy train. You wrote train. Yeah. You wrote crazy. I mean, train. ghost I train. Sorry. If I, if I, I wrote ghost crazy train, train, man. If I wrote I crazy, it up. we'd be on. A, we have got on a private island right now, not ghost worrying train. about this. <laughs> I, I think you're due some royalties, there, guys. <laughs> I forgot the song's name. Sorry. Ghost train. <laughs> ghost um, train. Just busting your chops, man. Dude, uh, we had a oh, song. Yeah, called, beep. This song, That's cool, man. I love called it. Go- ghost train, and the idea was we're like. That's when we were a five piece. Remember, go, but it was five of us in the band. Yeah, the five. And and the idea was, wow. we, we all wrote all a pair like, of lyrics. We all wrote a section of that song, and it was a long fucking song. It was too but long, the riff, <laughs> dude. The, but the main was riff like an hour. was really. I loved. I still to this day love the riff, and I would love to t- show it to you two. Oh you yeah, you guys can take it and modify it and fucking do something with it. Oh it yeah, we'll really make it riff. better. Because it, it's it was such a good. We have band, to. A, Hmm? Do, we have do you to? have to? <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, goddamn thing. But uh, no, it was the first time Gup wrote lyrics. Actually. Oh hell yeah! yeah I, I wrote, wrote a little lyrics. bit on there. I forgot what I wrote. But... Did you write? You wrote like three verses on there. What's going through that head, man? Gup, what's going through that head, man? What were your lyrics about? I don't remember actually. I gotta read the list. Rob Faye's got them. I, let me see. I, I, I know it was something about I fire might... and ice and something. I might. I might have the lyrics. Fire! Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna look right now. Oh, I might even I'm have the explosion these guys. though. Fire in the sky. Burning Holy shit! Is that, is that the one? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I might even have. There was something yeah, random. Like I, think, I think I heard of. Uh, I think I've heard of fire in the sky. Heard that one. Fire in the sky was. Uh, fire! Never I heard, heard of it. I wrote that one. <laughs> Never heard of it. Larry. Trent wrote that. Never one. heard of it. Larry. Fire in the sky. Dude, I I know I got like a whole thing of lyrics somewhere. Songs. Here we go. Holy shit, there's a ton of stuff in here. Hold on, Ghost Train. Oh, I have read, it. Read, go back it? and read, I want you to go back and like read lyrics for like the most old shit you can find in there right now. Just read it. Read <laughs> oh it. my god, dude. Do it. Come on, yeah. just read it out loud. We need a poetry reciting. Larry's song was the oldest one. That's the pick first song I learned by them. Don't don't search through, just like pick a random one and just read it. Pick a random one? Yeah, you right. can't you can't pick. Oh uh, okay. I'm in a folder. Plastic smiles. Oh, that's an old one. I didn't write the lyrics <laughs> on that one though. Oh yeah! Holy right. shit! Okay. Oh, this is okay. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Shit, this is an old one. <laughs> Hold on. Let me open this one up. I got the folder for it. Hold on. That, so What's the name? we wrote a song. Gup, you remember one we used to call I M E? I M E. Oh you yeah, know? I remember that. Was that like it a I-M-E. musical? No, the reason we called it I M E was because it it sounded like it was, the riff was very maidenish, and we called it Iron Maiden esque. So it was just called I M E. It sounded like Sabbath a little yeah. too. I am me. So oh, it's just so you're... basic though, man. These lyrics are so basic. Yeah. It's like not... Never. Oh shit. Black yeah. Yeah. You are like a, a poet on a stage doing poetry. How about stuff. how about okay, I'll read you I'll read you, the, I'll read you the chorus. Because that make that yeah, would make right. more sense. Like Shakespeare. I mean. read, read us read us the strongest passage. Your 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 favorite your strongest. Ooh, this is, I, what, what was I going through during this? I'm Ooh. trapped, trapped, yeah, deep, in, I'm trapped yeah. deep inside. Hold on, guys. You're, you're going through some shit. I'll go. I'm right. trapped, trapped deep inside. I'm trapped, nowhere left to hide. I'm trapped, oh. mentally abused. I'm trapped. Please just set me loose. Holy oh. shit! What was I going through? What's that? What's her name? The Boston I don't know who girl. This is about man. <laughs> Boston, Look, here's, here's, here's the verse. 
waiting to break free from the chains that beckoned me. I sit and wither slowly, my eyes too blind to see. Time is oh, set yeah, against me. Right? Those are some Time good word choices. That, that's some, that last yeah. that last yeah, like that. part like that. taught me. Dude, holy shit. Didn't you turn Time... that into the Shredder song? No, he didn't. Time oh, is set against me. It goes oh so slow. There's no point in asking. It's it is that I'll never know. Wow, this is fucking <laughs> use this shit again. <laughs> that was oh, yeah. I think, yeah, I a couple of these together. That's that's I, why you keep the receipts, right? Dude, I literally <laughs> found a folder on my computer. I mean, some of these were recorded, but like like thirty plus lyrics that never got anywhere. What comes out comes out, and then sometimes it, it works right away, and sometimes you Holy like come back to it randomly, and you're like, oh, this, you know. Not, now I got now I got uh some music to put with it, you know. Hell yeah, and that's the coolest find, thing about art. I do have to find the full version of Ghost Train that has Gup's lyrics on it too. I, uh, I, yeah, I think we really yeah wanna, we're passing it around. I think we really want to pass it. It was, was it was kind of cool. We like <laughs> we wrote. We all wrote like his no notebook, right? And it's like one guy was like yeah. when he would finish writing his verses, he'd give it to the next guy. He'd take it home, write his verses, bring it back, and we like passed it around to all five of us. And then we all had it. And we're like, here it is. But uh, it never ever man. Yeah, it was heard it once. I don't do lyrics. Yeah. I'll pass. Didn't <laughs> John do lyrics. Do lyrics. Yeah. Did you know that? He John do lyrics. does lyrics. I don't do lyrics. I, don't, I want Sean to write some lyrics for this one. Yeah, deep enough. Sure. Oh yeah, Sean. So I haven't. I haven't <laughs> in a deep. long time. You're gonna do it with me. Got you got something Madden. in the tank. Something in the tank. Neil Wait, Tim, Madden. you're not deep enough. Is that what you said? I'm not deep enough for lyrics. It's, that, it's, a, lack, it's, a, lack, it's a lack of emotions. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like he gets paper. He's like, what is this? What is this? Ah, words. I, he's, 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 wow. <laughs> he's like, I'm just riff. Just the riff guy. Just the riff. He's like, he's like, hmm. riff it. He's like words, words. Mm. <laughs> no, no, can't relate. Can't relate to this. <laughs> I seriously like. I don't. I don't. I love music. I listen to nonstop new music. I don't ever like zone in on lyrics. I just don't. That's right. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, for right. the most part, I guess. Yeah, I don't true. Like either, but there's like, lyrics are hard. There, there's definitely. It, I think it just like depends on like what genre or like what style you're listening to because obviously, like some are really like. Like I have a I, lyrics yeah. in the melody, but yeah, I do have a yeah. harmonica we can bring in. I'm just oh, saying. finally! <laughs> oh yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> heavy metal, most heavy metal harmonica. Hey, hey, Sabbath had a harmonica on their first record. Harmonica, yeah. Sabbath. Sabbath had a re- I even know that. <laughs> what was it, Mister Wizard? The Wizard. Wizard. Yeah, Wizard. the Wizard. The Wizard. Yeah, yeah. that song's awesome. Sam, they did have it. Did we um, cover that? No, we didn't cover that. We did a show, and we'll talk about this next week, Morgub. We did a show. Okay, sorry, man. At uh, we did a show where we played six Save sets it. in one night, and I, I have it only. <laughs> I only have it on, on on a dat tape. Like, who? Why was it recorded on a dat tape? I have no idea. It was t- ten years ago though, and I never had a dat player to play it. And I gotta like find anybody watching as a dat player. Like, please give it to me so I can. I think get- Kevin does, man. Somebody needs to get me a dat player so I can fucking rip this electronically and hear it for once. But we did like we we played like 32 songs in one night. This guy, Chris, I know him. Really? Dude, wow. We did covers. We did six sets in one oh, night. That's insane. Was that the where else show? Yeah. They Is paid that place us. Still there? It's I think it's gone. They paid us an insane amount of it money. It was weird. It was in a weird location, dude. It was in Elk Grove. El Grove, yeah, El it was Grove. like on the like corner of the. Looked like a, like a the desert. But dude, it was desert island. Desert. Yeah, it was exactly, cool, man. That's not exactly near me, but that's that's probably about twenty minutes away from where where I'm at right now. You, so, you yeah. know where it yeah, was, Sean? It was close exactly, to Schaumburg. I'll tell you yeah. exactly where it was. It was right next to that Lou Malnati's in El Grove, on okay. uh, on. Oh yeah, uh, lose. Yep, right next to that. Sure. Uh, but it was, yeah, they, dude. The guy, the guy's like, you could play here. Is that Rip Taylor guy? I want covers. I don't know. Yeah, it was. I want, want, it. <laughs> want, want covers. Cover. So we spent. I don't want any of this original bullshit. Well, no, he want wanted covers. a mix of it. He wanted a mix. He's like, you can do oh, your okay. shit, but I want covers too. We spent two and a half months learning, like Thin Lizzy, Sabbath, oh, Led Zeppelin, awesome. AC, Man, I'd, I'd be down to do some Thin Lizzy. Gosh, dude. One night we I'm... played the three in the morning. Oh, this really? this is great. I'll tell this story, then we're gonna save the rest of it for next week. Okay. But, Yo. 
So uh, Eric, who was our original lead guitarist, we used to, his nickname was Pappy, and he did Pappy's boot camp one day, and it was this is probably what almost broke up the band because he kept Gup and the rest of the band there. And I was not I was not playing any instruments at the time. Just he like, wouldn't leave till we got it. Yeah, I was only playing additional guitar, so I, I wasn't there for the whole night. But they stayed till five in the morning. Yeah, we were there all night. And then they were all like, everybody. By the time everybody walked out, they all hated each other. They're all like, "Fuck this shit!" Like, can't believe you made us play all night. Boot camp was, Paul was like telling him, "I'm going now." <laughs> like, and he like grabbed Paul. But it was a it was a success. The show was a success. I thought it went well. It was a good yeah. Good show. It was good. It was fun. Five so, in the morning, dude. It was nuts. But yeah, the show it was crazy, man. I was tired. I, I think I've you're never... right. I think I think we need a, a whole other episode of like just the Hemi origins in general. Next week we'll do that one. I think. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. I didn't mean it. Re- reverse, like, reverse chronology, this. right? Reverse chronology. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> they'll do twenty. I'm telling you, 2003 to 10 are like very interesting years. Like I mean, me and Gup, me and Gup's been through some shit, man. I know. Yeah, I, we had some crazy stuff, man. Okay. This one battle the bands, dude. I, I I'm oh my down to hear it all. I think I've heard like I'll tell you about pieces. it next week. I've, I've heard like <laughs> battle the bands. Pieces. I've heard bits and pieces, but like I want to hear the whole thing, man. If you, oh, dude. Whatever you can remember, of course. Yeah, it's been so long. It's like, it I involves. Can, I can we almost got in a stuff. fight. We got in a fight. We got into fights, like fist fights. Yep. There, there was there was uh, there was girlfriends yeah. of other bands sleeping with Hemi members that caused other fights with <laughs> other bands. Like it, it was oh, ridiculous. Yeah, there there yeah, was, that was cool. all sorts of shit going on. There was like the fight. That was a much were, different era. <laughs> very different, dude. I'm telling you. We, yeah, that was back in the day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the, the fights what alone. We, into, like, we like we got into fist fights. Go put that. I'm telling you, like we're a bunch of like oh, nice guys, but we had the fucking fist fights. Like this guy bands. was asking for it though, man. He jumped on us. <laughs> the so fucker funny. jumped. Well, like us. they fuck with us. Like we would not, we would not provoke any of this. So he fucks with one of our members. Like you're gonna fuck with one of us, and then we all just jumped in. Like just fuck all you know. I'm just right? ridiculous. <laughs> you can't fuck with us. Just just bad. Ne- never would have got you guys seem like such nice guys now. we never provoked any of it that was the this problem. guy started it man he jumped oh, off the okay, stage so. oh yeah it was bad yeah right write a book yeah oh, dude, write a book bad. guys there, there was some, and, and, uh if you met we moved on to the um, next round they didn't yeah do you see morgan's yeah, last comment about luco's oh. electric zoo they make those he's, he's ready to make yeah. a guest appearance i they honestly god zoo. we're ready i now. swear to i swear to god oh yeah but next, on this next record, we're ready. on this next we're record, down, I want man. I want guest appearances. I want Luco on to do that shit. I want fucking Morgan to do something. I want fucking I want Sean to have more vocals and, and along with the guitar playing. Oh yeah, Sean. I want to bring I want to bring people on. Do like even if it's little yeah, ass shit, like pressure, just fucking man. do a chorus or like give me a harmony. Like I want to bring Aaron on because she's got a great voice. I'm like bring Aaron on do a yeah. harmony. Her. Like. I want people to fucking appear oh, yeah, on this Eric. shit. I, like, be on that. Be, I want you to fucking enhance vocals. Whatever you guys want to do, play. find a place for it. You, <laughs> fucking, dude, if I know Tim, Tim Tim will find a place to put any fucking instrument you can imagine. <laughs> yeah, like, Tim's the best. <laughs> he's like, huh, track number 77 of this song could use an electric kazoo just tucked right in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he'll put that in there. We'll find that, a place. That would be fun. That would be fun. Dude, I'm telling you, I want to I wanna just get We're have like up. accordion, man, accordion. <laughs> whatever if you play this cool, right? you're our friend i want to do a thing where like people got to come in and just do whatever the fuck they want to do in the microphone and then yeah. i oh, yeah. it out from there yeah. yes yes exactly nice. that's, what I Good one, man. that's exactly what i want to do we're, we're, this is going to be like our mr bungle oh yeah, yeah. Mr. Bungle yeah. Is dope man Good on i love that, Couple, like, that I, name love right, yeah. bungle, man. I saw them live man they were like, awesome that's that's they did a, definitely they did a reunion like this year they did a few yeah. shows this year yeah that's great my, my, we, uh, Mike, that's the Mike Patton special, man. Oh, we, yeah, uh, he's the man. We did a thing. What is it? Uh, um, no, the drums I, of that shit was crazy. When I was telling Sean, I was like, Sean's like, so this will be our Phil Spector record, The Wall of Sound. Yeah. I was like, uh, exactly. <laughs> Just, minus, <laughs> minus, the, minus the crimes. Yeah, no oh, crime. Yeah. No crime. But that was that was years later, though. So yeah, we got to have a Larry part three. Yeah, oh. we can do a Larry. <laughs> we can part two. That? There's no Larry part so three. Go. Larry's Larry. three. <laughs> just get to. Tim, do you want another Larry record? Just get to. No, I'm just kidding, man. We don't have to. Let's hey, throw it. Anyway, Gup, Gup might know this. Gup, did the did Larry end up dying? <laughs> like the Larry? Larry's in jail, B. He's still in jail. Yeah, he's still in jail. Damn, Larry's still in jail. I'm not allowed no. to say his last name, but that dude's nuts. 
Don't does, say. Does he know that that Hemi's done lyrical concerts? He'd probably kill us him. if he knew. No, no, hold on. So I'm not going to say that. Wait, wait, no. I do know that before this. Or you trying to make us pay him? No, I I remember before the record, like I'm talking early, early, like the first demo we ever did of Larry's song, somebody told yeah. him or somebody told him that we, there was a song about him. And then we really? used his actual name. No, yeah, he, he never knew B. He never knew. No, I thought Joe, I knew. That, that dude, Joe from white hen pantry told him that there's a song about you. Oh, white dirty hen. Joe. Dirty dirty Joe. Wait, 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 white hen. Larry probably I, like, Hey man, cool. I, I, grew up, I grew up on, on a street that had a white hen on the block before. It turned into this, this he is, was this cool. Is, only if you pet his cat. I mean, I miss the white hen. The white he was hen, worried about his cat. He's hen, like, pet my cat. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh shit! Pet my like, your cat's I don't, crazy. I don't man. know about I don't know about petting any cats, God, but but the that's white what hen, he made, he was. That's what he did when he came into his house. Oh yeah. He's like, but pet the, my damn cat. I'm like, okay. The white, the white hen, man. The white hen. <laughs> okay. Was freaking stable. I'll never forget that. Land. Dude, I white hen was. White, hen. white hens. He were lived great. across the street from there too. No, this is uh, this is like oh this dude. That was childhood, right there. Yeah, this somebody White at White Hen. He had a stack of uh, old style cans in his. <laughs> somebody oh at God. White Hen told him about the song and early about Dirty never, Joe. Yeah, this guy named Dirty Joe. Oh, that's very Dirty bad. Joe. <laughs> oh, that's so that bad. That guy was. We got another oh, wait, story wait, about wait, that motherfucker. We gotta save all this for next week. There's so I'm telling you guys, oh three to ten <laughs> is like fucking Just wild. Leave it. talking about leave his grandma's. Guy. It's yeah, great. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. Duck can't help himself, dude. You, you, you got on tangent lane. Sorry, man. I'm sorry, V. <laughs> next week, next week will be. Will be I got a camera shock. Save that stuff. Uh, we, I didn't we, mean to interrupt we, uh, you. Do we no, miss any? Do we, do we pretty much cover the whole timeline where I came yeah. through and kind of like where Tim came through too? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the thing. Like the early, the, I didn't know about the early the Morgan days and then how that all linked into yeah. him. So I yeah. found that out today. I didn't know any about any of that. Like, I didn't know yeah, you I didn't went to know high about school. that either, man. I know you went to high school at Spencer. I had no idea. Yeah. That, that was new I knew me. you went to school at Spencer. We, yeah. And, and then that's how we got hooked up. You know, that's how I met Sean. Yeah. Him. yeah. Yep. So it was interesting. You, like, party, you cover this before I joined. You came and partied in my dorm room in Cows during spring fest. Oh yeah. Uh, we, yeah. Yep. He showed up like 10 said. in the morning with Spencer yep. and we all rocked beer pong in my apartment. Spencer, I will never, I will never forget. Yeah, I That's was fucking awesome. We and we played a little was, guitar. Uh, we even squeezed in a little guitar playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that, was like, that was like the first time we hung. Another uh, album. Oh, yeah. Lane, we got one coming out, beep. Yeah. We already uh, got one written. Was, was just, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know about... Uh, this damn COVID fucked it, us. It's, it's an interesting t- connection, though. It's like Sean went to school at Spencer. Spencer went to college with Tim. He was the medium, brought you two together, and essentially, in a way, it's like it, it's all led to today, which is so interesting. Actually, when you think about it, yeah, I mean, and Man. like, and like, he's doing uh, LSF stuff, and which is yeah. like awesome stuff now. And like, oh yeah, it's a good album. I got we we got we got to find want my a way free to get, album, Spencer. We, we got to find a way to uh, to get Pat on the next record too. Somehow, like, do a guest. We do. We just. Something. I think I was telling you earlier. We we just. <laughs> That's how we got that. That's how I saw that water bottle picture of like yeah. the, original, you know, the original lineup. We did that. Tim was out there, right? No, no, what? that was the one with Morgan. Oh, Tim, Morgan. Tim, before you joined, the before you joined, I was able to. Uh, I had found a. Uh, well, Morgan had sent over a Thanks photo. That, That's that a was photo of uh, the early the original. The water the original lineup. No, I, was, I, was, I, I was creeping in the, in the chat when you showed that. I saw it. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw it. Nice. Morgan, great. Sorry that we kicked you out, too. I don't know what we were thinking. I guess we were. <laughs> I saw I saw an abstraction <laughs> set when she sang in the band. I was I was yeah. in the audience before I joined abstraction. I want to know. Wait, is Morgan. Wait, Morgan. Is there any video of this anywhere? You guys have video or photos? I, we have witnessed the set. I think I have pictures. Yeah, YouTube. On Facebook with, of the show we did. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Wasn't that at JD Mugs too? Which one? I watched you guys play a show with Morgan, and I was in the Morgan? audience like, "Damn, I want to play in a band." <laughs> Morgan said there was some, uh, there was some like yeah, outdoor um, festival. Where was that place, JB Mugs? Addison. Addison. Oh. Yeah. Is that still there? Sorry, I think I it's think, gone. Yeah, it's called it's called uh, Mugs and Manor now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Morgan sounds like a cool place. I think I have pictures Wait. that are. Tagged on Facebook. I'm gonna see. If Morgan's I can. got photos. She says, "Just no video." Nice. 
scrapbook on the videos. We got we got to see some of these pictures, man. I got like oh yeah, <laughs> the timeline. I love old pictures. I know there. I know there's some pictures of uh, of Tim era um, abstraction too somewhere, probably on the Reverb Nation, right? Yeah, man. It's out there too. I got some on my. It's still up there. Way the, way the book back. Hey, can I share a picture too? How do I do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think be... you can. Send Pull it up, man. Pull it up. How do I do it? Uh, we'll get it pulled up, and then you, you, there's like a share screen thing you can take. Oh, where? It should be on the thing. Damn, dude. Wait, I think uh, it's old. Dude, yeah, that's it goes back, man. Old times. Well, I, I think, Tim, I think I found pictures of our gig from uh, um, Double Door. Nice. Check this out. Hold on. What's what's Lane asking us? Wondering, you guys don't like swearing in your songs, right? Like a lot. Yeah, I mean, we don't do it. I don't think I've ever yeah, sworn in a does. song. I don't think we dropped we, we dropped some we fuck bombs on um on abstraction. We yeah, had, we uh, should. On abstraction, we've dropped some mother effers. Did we? Oh, yeah. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, I think, oh, yeah, yeah you're right. I think we definitely did. And I just did backup screams, and I was <laughs> one of my screams was motherfucker. Wasn't blacktop? We had like oh, suck my fucking boots. We were just, no, no, we there was were, no, no we profanity. Were we were aggressive. I thought he swore. I never, one. I never did the, uh, we were I never did the, um, I never did the parental advisory sticker. Never had to do that. No, I never did. Should that. have done that though. Can we yeah, swear Trent's one up. time so I can put that sticker on? You can oh. swear. You're the one writing the lyrics. I can go for it. <laughs> yeah, you know we what? We gotta put a point, swear or something. <laughs> I thought we had. I just, I just like, just like a beast. I had tagged. Um, Morgan is saying though. You can write whatever Morgan you want. Morgan is saying that. Uh, wait hold on. Try one song. Yeah, we will. I will. I'll put it on. <laughs> I'll just swear randomly. Uh, Morgan says when she, quarantine's done, she'll take pictures of what she had, scrapbook, and share them. I'd love to see nice. this. Nice. Oh, for sure, I'd love to see this. I, I swear, I had tagged pictures of us, and we still have a couple. Yeah. It's How like do I share can, one? You guys are on uh, MySpace. Yeah. Got the press share screen. Nice. Do share screen. Yeah. It'll it'll give Check you. Check this out. It'll give you the option to share. What do you got? What's sharing right now? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Check this out. You got you got to like select your select your monitor to share. Let's see this. You see it? Is it popping up? That? I can't you, see it. Yeah. No, it's not showing us it. You got to. Oh, this? here it is. Oh. Oh, I gotta bring it in. Got wait, it? wait, wait, wait. There's a this is a tree. Yeah, this is a trio. Is. This is a good there photo is. from the this is the trio set. This is the trio. Oh hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Was that Dharma's? Oh, dude, we killed that. This was this was Quenchers. That's the cue. That's the Quenchers. Quenchers that's it. Quenchers. Yeah, I was Kelly, like that. Uh, Kelly hooked it up. Damn, I thought we had there's okay, some really nice pictures of this show. I guess we don't have pics from that. That's the one Kramer showed up at, right? Yep. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, but I'm I'm going back to the abstraction days. Give me some time. Here. Nice. Wait a minute, boys. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you guys? Oh no, I'm looking at the abstraction, uh, the Reverb Nation, which is still up. And uh, somebody accidentally, place. somebody accidentally added you guys to a show in Ohio. It wasn't you though? All right. So let me ask you this really quick, just to tie this back in at the end. Uh, so there's five. There's four songs on here: "Self Imprisoned" demo, "The March," "Veins of Fire," and "Untitled." <laughs> yep. So that those, about so you. Right. So you both are on all those, right? That's all you guys. Yeah. That's that's you two and Pat and Spencer, right? On on those four. Yeah. Tim, Sean. Correct. Anybody? Yeah. And then Tim, before you, but when you, before you came on, Morgan shared the link, uh, her SoundCloud of the demo she's on in Attraction. It's still it's still up, so that still exists out there. So there's says Sean sent a photo. Oh, what you send? What you send? Oh, you sent it to the the group. Yeah, I, if you want to, if you want to send that, well, I you, can, uh, <laughs> you can display it though. You can share a screenshot. Stay a vibrator. Vibrator? What? The phone's <laughs> vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> the phone's <laughs> vibrating, man. I was like, what? Uh, See, I'm but yeah, go ahead. Here, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna show something to you. You guys have an old. There's an old photo of you guys up here. On a uh, reverb nation, no, this is man, it's it's kind of cool. I'm glad you guys left this stuff up. I got a good well. one, like, yeah, can I share it right now? Go oh, ahead, yeah, share your screen. Oh, you're I'll sharing, pop it in. Okay, go for it, go for it. This is dope. Let's see what you got. There you go, it's coming up. Oh, that's cool. Where's that from? 
this I can't even tell. This is so sloppy looking. Oh, uh, so this is Jimmy Kinnear from Echo who posted this. So this was um, what? I think this was Double Door. This is Double Door. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is nice. Double Door. So there's me, Sean in the center, front man, Sean. Oh Why yeah, I remember that. So was the whole yeah. center in the back. Was I, I remember seeing you guys. I'm like, these guys are good, man. <laughs> oh, thanks, Scott. Man, no problem, Pete. Dude, I got, Jimmy was yeah, at I that got, show. I got huh? one with, like, crazy. a little bit of. Um... They recorded that show too. I think on the. Hey, Dad. I'll add. I'll add your screen in there, Sean. Here you go. Show that off. That's, that's with like a little bit softer. I think that's the same gig. Nice. Is that yeah. Double Door? I've never wow. seen that one. You see Pat playing the. Acoustic. Yeah, it looks like yeah, Double Door lights. That's the instrumental track. Yeah. So Pat Pat was playing acoustic, and then we were doing like a dual like harmony lead thing. That was actually a really cool track. I love that one. The untitled one. Interesting. Nice. That's cool. That was, man. The one, that was the one where all the band dads loved that one. My my dad was like, "Oh, I love the it. band dad track," and I think it was, nice. like, and it was it was a good one. I don't have many abstraction photos in my Facebook. Nice. At all. I had a bunch more. I swear, I had I had way more from that uh, that first gig that we did with with uh, Morgan in uh, 2010. I had a bunch, and like I was I don't I don't know if I just like got untagged from them. I swear, I used to be in a here. I'm gonna. I'll, why don't you look from that, Sean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull one up. I found of you guys. Okay. Hold on, okay. I'm gonna remove oh, some, your share uh, for a second. Just saw some debonair ones. Take, there we go. Take a look at this. Hang on, I got. I found a good one of you guys here. Look at this. Check this out. This is uh, right. the boys here. Look at this. <laughs> this is young, young abstraction. Look at you guys there. Oh my god. You remember Holy that? Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. We're we at, went to that uh, fucking tank place. And at, uh, uh, you guys look young as hell. So that's, that's called... Yeah, it's like a cool young place. I've been there shit. before. Uh, can Cantini in uh, Wheaton. Yeah, I had a Boy Scout camp there. Yeah. yeah it's Did cool, you? man. Is that a real yeah. tank? Is that a real yeah. tank? That's yeah, those there? are real, oh, man. Yeah, those are real tanks. They're all real. Yeah. yeah. That's old. I mean, by, I by all accounts, I got, I got to say, it's kind of a... I mean, it's a, it's a cool spot to take a band photo in front of a fucking tank. Like, who oh, yeah, man. But a lot of, uh, a lot of dope, Chicago man. bands have taken photos there. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> 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 we learned that later look on. At, look at how young you are. It's dude, like a young there. Guys, like, Morgan, I think you're right. I think, shit. yeah, someone must have deleted all those because we had a ton of those. We had some really cool ones. We had some really good ones where it was like, yeah. you were like, right, like yeah. Morgan was like right up front, like, you know, like screaming into the mic. And I was playing. You could see like everyone playing in the background. We had some really good shots from that day. Nice. We have a question. We have a question from everybody here, uh, from uh, Brian favorite, Lane. Favorite favorite music, music venue to play at? Call it. Oh. Go ahead. Go up. What's your fair? You start. Oh. Uh, easily the live wire. Live wire. All right. Tim? Double door too, but Tim, what's your favorite? That place is done. Dude, I gotta think for a second. Somebody else answer. I gotta say live wire. It feels like home. That's that's. It always felt like home. Oh Who, yeah. Hey, well, we were the first band to play live wire. It's, I, it's felt like home since. That's why I was loving yeah. it. It's so easy, uh, too. You know? It's, so it's easy, easy, man. It's like a small place. Like, everything's it's like, easy. You know what? Everything is smooth yeah. all the time. Right? Yeah. It's never a problem there. Cool uh, live wire's are home. home. Live wire's definitely Sean, are home. you displaying something? I can I can patch you in here. Hold yeah. on. You want to patch it no. in here? But... Uh, my favorite show ever was at, yeah. um, at uh, the yeah. wrestling thing. The rest oh, my God. So that was oh, yeah. oh, within yeah. the Ruin yeah. shirt. Old school. You, you remember that between the yeah? So that was after we did our first Pterodactyl King gig, Pat and I, and uh, Morgan's wearing the awesome within the Ruins shirt there. Uh, I don't know why. Dude, I don't know who's holding King Cobra. Cobra. Nice. Yeah. That's cool, King Cobra. Twenty. I like that. So. Twenty fourteen, man. Oh, look at, look at you guys AJ all look right at AJ. Is, AJ. Is that AJ? Looking jacked. Yeah. <laughs> I had that same uh, BT Bam shirt. We both bought that same shirt the same night, What's the same concert. <laughs> Yeah. You guys do not. Hey, age, look at man. these guns. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. That was, <laughs> Just kidding. I love, I love those picks. Yeah. Dude, going back to abstraction days, I should be deleting more of these photos there on Facebook. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be... <laughs> oh, That's sorry, were we sad. doing favorite venues? Um, favorite venue. What's your favorite venue? Well, yeah, I mean, Livewire have definitely like, played the most, and like everything sounds awesome there. I think the, uh, the Wire and Berwyn. We played a bunch of yeah. Terrorists. That place is so yeah. awesome. Yeah, I heard that, that place is dope. That place is probably unless I'm like forgetting another one that I really that, that was probably my my favorite just because 
that you know everything sounded awesome there the, the back room to like warm up for me it was the wrestling show i mean that we just did that yeah. was my favorite yeah, place uh, dope, man. Yeah, i mean the sound and lighting was just both were both were just amazing and it was just such a massive room i never played a big room like yeah. that 115 bourbon street bourbon yeah, street yeah. that's it no. I mean, that what a unique cool. gig. There, there was a wrestling ring in front of us. It was such yeah. a wild gig. <laughs> oh my that God. place was like huge, man. Was that cool. was like the most unforgettable thing I've ever, I'll ever play. That sound guy there was dope. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, it was, it sounded amazing. Fog, you name it. Uh, I got one of you guys on. I wanted to share this one of you guys. I think this is the first time I saw you guys play. Hold uh-huh. on. I'm going to show this. You guys, you guys posted this on yours. This is the abstraction days. I can't see a date on here, but, um, you can tell me maybe, but old. this is when you guys. Old. Dude, I've never seen it. I never seen it. I put there. Oh yeah, oh, it's so dude, it's so bright in there. I love that. Because <laughs> we're playing a house show. That was like right when I was growing out my beard too for the first time ever. That was like when I let it go real long. I don't think there's a date on here though. That looks like mugs date. too, to be honest. Is that, 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 that looks yeah. like mugs. I think it's JD mugs. You can, you can tell because we all have to like position. I gotta get a laptop, man. This is too small. That's all the room we had. Yeah. A tiny stage. Yeah. See, that, there it is. That, that, that's that's right cool, there. dude. Yeah, there's, there's Spence back there by the Damn. by the Tim Rockets. Big Jinko Spence. <laughs> Pat Pat's playing the. Oh, yeah. uh, oh man. Uh, Thunderbird, right? Epiphone yeah. thund- uh, Thunderbird. You, uh, that's you, a great guitar. Borrowed that one. That stuff. You you've borrowed Pat's bass a couple times, Trent, right? The Thunderbird and the and the Jazz uh, five string, right? I just no, I just brought right. the five string just once five string? because um the Thunderbird. So what happened was this is, this is hilarious. We, we were recording uh, Avalon Averted mm-hmm. in the studio, and I I brought a case which I thought was my bass to the studio all the way in you know way in the burbs. I get there and so Tim Tim does his part and he's like. All right, so AJ's like, all right, Trent, get your get tuned up, be ready to go. It's like I open the case, and I'm like, <laughs> shit, I brought my guitar instead. I'm like, son oh, of yeah. a bitch. So I was like, come on. And then it was like, <laughs> I remember that. And it was like the last thing we were recording. I was like, fuck, I don't want to, have to go back. So then I was like, wait, let me call Pat because he's close by. So I called Pat, and he's like, I'm like, dude, do you have a five string at your house? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, can I please borrow it? I know this sounds really weird. I will come over right now. <laughs> so like. As a matter what of fact, house. I do. Kind of, yeah. I borrowed his. What kind of? I don't even remember what kind it was. Oh yeah, pet. Um. Oh god. I think it's a Fender. Uh, yeah, I I'm pretty sure. I have a photo. Yeah, it's windy of it. to... I have a photo really nice. of me playing it. I can't tell what it is though. But it's uh. But yeah, dude, he saved my ass that day because that was like it would have been another trip out. It was a pain. Would have been real bad. But so thank you, Pat, for that. I got a photo of it. I know I posted when I recorded it. I post. I'm trying to find what not what kind of guitar that is because I know I definitely took a picture of me or Tim took it of me recording that session. But I, it, but I was so lucky he had a five on him because I'm like, dude, if he doesn't have a five string, I'm fucked because I have to go all the <laughs> way back to Chicago and get it. Here it is. So it is a. Shit, I can't even tell what kind of guitar this is, man. Like I don't know if you guys can see is this. It a music, is it a music man? Yeah, I think it's a music man. That one right there. I don't know if you can see it. Ernie Ball, right? Yes, it's an. It looks like an Ernie Ball. You're right. Which is the Ernie Ball's guitar, nice. Which is the guitar brand I really want to get. I really want to get an Ernie Ball Seven. My brother used to have one. That was cool. Is it a Stingray? Is it a what? Stingray, five string. Is that I don't right? know. It was a. It was a five string. I know that. That's that saved my ass on it. <laughs> But uh, it's a really nice bass. It's a really nice instrument because he's got yeah both of his basses and like even even the guitars he's got he's got some really nice stuff. He's got some really quality. <laughs> quality. So, <laughs> I I had I had, I had, an, I had an autograph photo <laughs> of Morgan and Luco uh, that they took of them, that they gave me signed to me in a frame. It was on like this oh, this table good. next to my bed with all my with and it was like it was like mom and dad nice. family. Girlfriend Morgan Luco. <laughs> oh, that's, so that's cool, cool man. Uh, it's not still. It's not still there, but it's on. Uh, I have it in like. I got a bunch of stuff. Like these are all my frame things that are going on this wall. As you can see, like so my wrestling stuff that I work on, all the album covers, family stuff. So I'm, I, it's all everything's going on this wall. Band pictures are over there, over there. Lineup shots. Like I'm. I'm so decorating this wall. You guys can kind of see it. Like all yeah. the oh, no, all nice the Hemi, Hemi album. 
covers up here, Toxic Rocket, my podcast, all that stuff. So it'll be on that wall, Morgan. Do you got any Avalon stickers, man? Yeah, we got them. We got all. Nice. We got I gotta get some of them. Hey, can I get some Our- merch? Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. can't <laughs> ship merch. I can't get. I cannot go ship merch. I'm not going to post stuff. office right now. We're going to buy merch. <laughs> uh, but I am working on getting us set up with a um, a shirt shop that will drop ship stuff for us, so we don't have to tell. We don't have to ship oh. anything out. Oh, yes. That- that's that still my project during quarantine. Um, I've already talked to him, so our details yeah. coming on that. But uh, but oh, yeah, yeah, man, dude. nice little combo, gents. Nice went nice and long, almost two hours. Holy shit! Damn, that's, that's a long time. Man. That's awesome, only man. uh only an hour twenty for me. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, Tim. All right, guys. Wait, listen. I got actually got awesome. a text. I got a text from uh, one of my uh, coworkers, Adam, who's a big fan of us, and he's like, "Where the hell are you at?" I was like, "I'm uh, catching up on some work." Hey, I'm working here. I'm working over here. I'm working over here. Over here. Over here. <laughs> no, but dude, thanks everybody for joining. The chat was great. Awesome. That was a lot oh, of fun. Yeah, thank I, you, everyone. I liked learning about early days of abstraction and Sean's career in this. Like here, your your roots, your roots in this whole thing, and how Tim came in. It's just it's a like I always say, like our band's got such an interesting little story of like it's like you guys were in a band before, went through this whole up and down. What Tim came over, Sean came over later. It was like all this back and forth. Like you went to tear that though with the right. producer, produced us, and it's like it's all like this. Iron like, Maiden, man, they went through so many people. I just love that we like we all kept it in this like in the circle though, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It all worked out. So, oh yeah, be- very right. nice. Just, just before we log, like it, it's such a it's such a cool like working environment with you guys too, because it's just it's easy, like, man. No drama. Oh yeah, man. No stress. <laughs> It's it's just it's so it's so funny how things work out. Where it's just like you know, totally. You know, yeah, every, everything just kind of flows. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like it's it's super super simple. Oh yeah, like, we got the chemistry. We don't overthink it, and like you know, it's 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 just a really cool. It's just a really cool vibe every time we're together. So it, like, couldn't worked out better for me, and I hope you guys. Feel oh like yeah, it. Lane, we got a part, sir. No. Yeah. No, it, it's awesome, dude. No, I, I agree. I couldn't agree with you more, Sean. It's it's a yeah. great it's a great working environment. It definitely, we got a good thing going. We really do. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Once honored, this is over, oh yeah, of, brothers. Honored to be a part of it because I know you guys have a long history. So thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. I'm I'm glad, glad you are a part of it. We're, I'm glad we're, we're going to hit that, we're gonna hit that next step soon. We got, we got ideas coming. I I sent you guys some stuff yesterday. Yeah, got, it's coming, man. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I like it. Now, it's cool riff. You know, we're, we're still playing our instruments, so that's oh, something. Yeah. Got it. I was beating out <laughs> some buckets <laughs> over here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying yeah. to come up. With so, ideas. um, if any whoever's on, uh, we're gonna aim hopefully for next week, maybe the week after. We have some, we want to do it right, but we're gonna try to do an acoustic set on this thing. Yes, um, yes. Um, yeah, we're, gonna, we're, 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 we're not just gonna like repeat the same shit. Like we need to like acoustify it properly. So we want to make sure we yeah. do it right if we do it. So we're we're gonna here. we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna we'll we're make gonna sure we it. announce the day we're doing it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll hey, try. You guys for, gotta go to the space and get the stuff. In. I got my nah, shit. We'll, so I'm gonna I got my stuff. stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got all my stuff. I gotta get we'll symbols. Figure, we'll figure it out. Oh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Anything, yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Gub, just uh, all you gotta do is just. I gotta quiet it up. Modify it, dude. Modify. I'm modify this weekend. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll work this weekend on like what songs would be good to convert to acoustic yeah. and let you guys know what I'm thinking. And some of, the, some of it needs to be a little rewritten, but yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, we yeah we're, gonna, we're gonna see. Maybe sure. one of them works out. Maybe three of them work out. We don't know. We're, we're gonna mess with it. We'll find <laughs> yeah, out. We but we'll definitely sure. as mean, many as possible. While we're still right. yes, <laughs> while we're and while we're still locked in, the quarantine chronicles will continue. So uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. To- Thank you guys for joining us. That's awesome. It was a blast. Thank you, everyone. Great to talk to you guys. Uh, we're going to sign off. Appreciate it. Check out hemimusic.com. There's links to all the music. If you want to listen to it, uh, it's all free to stream. So go stream it at Spotify, Bandcamp, whatever. All the links to everything we do, hemimusic.com. All, everything's up there. So connect, like, like, subscribe, rate, everything you need to do. Do it from there. All right. Spread Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you uh, probably next what week. What social media is that? That's Sprev. <laughs> Just kidding. Gubs is. It's his burner account. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, everyone. Later. Do it again. Later, Brie. Later. Oh, they signed off. <laughs>